Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Making Moves. I'm here today with the girls. Hey. It's the girls room. So we're gonna go around and we'll just, you know, everyone can introduce themselves. We'll start with you, Dom. Hi, I'm Dom. Where are you from, Dom? I'm from Arizona. I'm, I just turned 25, which was like culture shock. <laughs> was like, yeah. No, same. Quarter life crisis. No, like it's not a game. Like it's not a game anymore. Everything so. changes. Yeah, everything. It's the big so real. brain connection. <laughs> <laughs> Your brain is fully developed. Like it's FR. Like How I, does that's it what feel? that means when you turn 25. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <gasps> I'm using that. I'm telling everyone I'm way smarter now. <laughs> Well, now I'm like, this is it? Yeah. I'm like, this is scary. I'm like, this no. is how I'm like, getting better? Yeah. Now I'm like, it's fully developed? Yeah. Yeah. I'm scared. So it's been gaggy, but mm-hmm. good. Do you, do you feel like you're entering your quarter life crisis? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yesterday, <laughs> I had the Sunday scaries, like, down oh. boots, like, for real. Okay. And I feel like that was, like, the most intense Sunday scaries I've ever had. And I blame that on being 25. Oh, it though. hits differently. For yeah. Sure. It does hit different. So that's it. that's a little about me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Keaton, where are you from? How old are you? Um, unfortunately, I am also 25. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Keaton. I'm from Texas. Uh, but I just moved to Los Angeles a year ago, and I literally love it so much. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Which, it's that's great. crazy because I have known Keaton for... So long. Probably, like, what, eight I years? was going to say, yeah, probably eight long. years, I yeah. think. Yeah. Which is crazy. And like, what's weird is I've met you through Kinsey, and I've met you through Kinsey. So like, we've met Kinsey everyone connecting. through Kinsey. We've met Kenzie, uh, Elizabeth. Kenzie Elizabeth. Shout out Kenzie. She's the connector over here. She really is. Yeah, she really is. Um, so Hazley. Hello, I also am 25. <laughs> 25. I know we're all in this together. My actually big thing was when I turned 25, I couldn't do a split anymore. Like I woke up. And like couldn't do a split. Not that I'm like actively <laughs> trying my split. <laughs> so we all need to try it on this table right now. Yeah. But I've had this conversation now with multiple girls that have turned 25, and it's like a thing. Like y'all go home later and see if you can do it. And I could literally never do it in the first place. So. It's just yeah. like crazy. Yeah. My body's just like not the same. It's kind of. I sad. love that. That's what you noticed. <laughs> I don't, I've, I've yet to notice that. It was oh, like a yoga no. class vibe, you know? Like oh, one day I, yeah. okay. I went in and was like, oh. Okay. Wow. Yeah, it's rough. When Sad. did you turn 25? September. So it's been a few months Okay, now. September what? I'm 9-11. Wow. Yeah. So oh I like gosh. to think of bringing a little joy to the day. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah. Been here since 2021 summer. So a year and a half now-ish. Mm-hmm. But it's been good. How do you Does like that it? Make you a Virgo? Sorry, yeah, I was yeah, literally yeah, she's a Virgo. Say that. Virgo. Like, I was like, I was like, like Virgo queen. I love, yeah. Oh yeah, you're a Virgo. Dude, I love Virgos. My I sister's love Virgos. a Virgo. She's a Virgo through and through. Wait, yeah. okay, what is Virgo? And what's we the would get Virgo along vibe? great. Like, <laughs> has their shit together. Mm-hmm. Like ducks in a row. Like <laughs> organization station. Like, yeah. Oh really? Boxes. Yeah. yeah. Like I mean, maybe from the outside. You know, there's a little inner chaos going on, but no. like presented. Yeah, I, that's. I'm, are you but. kidding me? I like look at your Instagram stories. And I'm like, oh god, I gotta get this shit together. <laughs> Wait, so what else are Virgo traits? Hazley Dyson vacuums her room every yeah. morning, mm-hmm. and I feel like no, that's just kidding. like a very this is Virgo so trait. No. Oh my gosh, so we're gonna be great friends yeah. after this. Wow. Yeah. I was like this. Mm-hmm, that's yeah. Virgo energy. And you're Aquarius. You. No, I'm a Capricorn. <gasps> oh, okay, you cute. are. But that's why I love Virgos because they they like have it all together. And Capricorns like having everything yep. together. Okay. So you guys like execute the vision. You know what I mean? Okay. You must is... be at the end of Capricorn. Or, yeah, I mean, January 8th. So oh, okay. there's like a little okay. bit of time yeah. after yeah, yeah, yeah. me. Wow. Cute. And then yeah. what are you, Hope? Uh, I'm a Pisces. Oh. oh. A Pisces. Birthday's coming up. Birthday's yeah, coming up. What are you turning? 20. <gasps> Entering her 20s. Yes. Oh, I know my So you can do the splits for like yeah. five more years. <laughs> I have never been able to do the splits, so when I turn 25, maybe I'll be able to. Like, maybe that's my aging, is mm-hmm. suddenly I'll be yeah. able to. But um, my brain has not connected yet, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. It's still in development. That's my... But that's we live together right now, so we're like a work in progress together. Yeah, mm-hmm. she's helping me. She dices she your room. Me. Yeah, you know. Yeah. She, yeah, she vacuums, she, I do the dishes. She keeps me young. Yeah. <laughs> so, Hope, you're the middle sister, uh-huh. correct? Mm-hmm. And Hazley's the oldest. Yeah. What is it like having Hazley as an older sister? Hmm. Hazley oh is gosh. like five years older than me. So I feel like she was definitely older sister energy instead of like BFF growing up. And Was she I a little just, boss? 
Oh, I did like everything for her. Yeah, <laughs> it was the best. <laughs> and honestly, like, her and hey, she yeah. could literally, she could literally be like, "Go get me water," and I'd be like, "Okay, fine." <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore, though. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> maybe she's like, maybe yeah. this. Maybe she did it this morning. <laughs> yeah. Do you feel like you resonate with having middle child energy? I am definitely like middle child energy, like mediator, peacemaker of the group. Kind of can go mm-hmm. unnoticed if I need to. Our youngest mm-hmm. sister's very passionate and like fiery. Mm-hmm. And then I'm, you know, a little more Virgo, like to have things a little more set. So yeah. me and her clash sometimes in hopes normally the Switzerland. I, yeah. I assumed, uh, okay. I assumed my position. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And is it just the three of you? Yes. Mm-hmm. Just three us sisters. Three. What do you guys have siblings? I have I know one you do. sister. Okay. Yeah. Are you the older oldest? No, she's older, but she's super shy. Like, my okay. whole family's pretty shy. And then I'm like, ah! <laughs> like, you, like, can't stop talking. So then everyone assumes that I'm older, but I'm like, no, she is. Okay. And I'm, like, kind of taller, too, so. Uh, that's a thing I hear. The yeah. younger sister's old, always taller yeah, than like, the older so sister. Yeah, I'm, weird. Like, I don't know what all about. Like, I'm just amazing. I'm just, like, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that's weird. And Keen, who yeah. are your siblings? Um, So I have four other siblings, but one of them, I have, Three of them are my step siblings. It's confusing. Okay. I have like a long family tree, but big I, fun family. Yeah, it's um, me, and then I have one younger sister. Okay, she's twenty one, twenty two. Oh. I'm like, I don't know. I don't ever remember because I'm always like confused. I feel like once you get in your twenties, they all mesh together. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. and then I have my older sister Morgan. Mm-hmm. I have my other older sister Megan, and then older brother Brandon. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, Lots of siblings. Camps. Your older brother's name's Brandon. Yeah. And your boyfriend's name is yeah, Brandon. I know. It's very oh confusing gosh. when we have Christmas and Thanksgiving and everything else. Wait, how do you feel about that? I don't know. It's like weird. <laughs> I, like, I didn't choose this life. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is just what ended up happening for me. I know. But I feel like I always think about that when I see someone on a dating app and it, they either have my brother's name or my dad's name. Mm-hmm. I'm like, not that I, it's like a deal breaker, but I'm like, oh, it might yeah. be weird. Yeah, but, but not really. Really. my yeah, family yeah. though will call him B Docs because like he'll go, oh. you know, he goes, like, mm-hmm. so it makes it easier. Like we'll okay. say like Brandon, and then like him, I'm like B Docs, amazing babe. Oh yeah, babe. <laughs> I'm not cringy like that. Yeah. 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 And that's all B Docs. Like don't B-dogs. even play with him. Yeah. <laughs> don't play with him. <laughs> so we just entered a new year. How is it going for everyone? What would you say you would you know rate it out of ten so far for you? Mm-hmm. The year. Maybe a two. I'm oh, just kidding. Oh, no. Oh, no. We really oh, need to get your energy out. No, yes. no, no, no. I was just talking to you guys about how I feel like I, like, when when I do, like, Vlogmas in December, and, like, I feel like the end of the I year relate. is, I relate. it's a lot for me. And then yeah. when I get to January, it's like I'm supposed to, like, flip and, like, have all these things that I'm, like, changing yeah. and doing. And I'm, like, I haven't done any of them. And like, I, I looked need at the breathe. date, and I'm, like, oh, it's the end of January. And, like, I'm going to start the new year in February. Yeah. Like, yeah. I've just yeah. been so behind. Um, but I just went to Paris and that was fun. And that was a great trip. So, so to reset fun. you. Yes, I'm lying. It's not a two. It's like a seven. <laughs> okay. But, but also like I feel like January, like people are still like hibernating, you know, like you exactly. still have time to like defrost. Ooh, yeah. 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 I'm still frozen. Babe. That's okay. I'm defrosting. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> defrosting oh, I love that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> One of the stretches I do in the morning, that's what he, the instructor always says. He's like, it's just like you're defrosting your body. I oh. like it. But yeah, so I just kind of Wait, instructor? Oh, okay. So, I, you know, Equinox. Weird flex, but okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> she was so um, Equinox. No, yeah, so like, I don't know if you guys ever heard of it. Um, <laughs> no, but like when it was raining and... I feel like that was the other thing too. It was raining. Okay, this weather has played me. Yeah. yeah. Beyond. Uh-huh. Like, I can't. It was raining and I was emo and I refused to leave my yeah. house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I would like stretch because I can't do the splits. <laughs> but like, I was never able to do hey, the at splits. At least you're stretching. So, you're, you know? Yeah. But I was like, okay, well, let me like stretch <laughs> for like 10 minutes every day. And they have yeah. like an app little stretches and workouts and all this stuff and you're just defrosting and i'm just yeah, defrosting my that. body yeah. is yeah. this an instructor on the app or irl mm. okay i was gonna be like are they hot <laughs> wow well, are they like, stretching you stretch me literally i would pretend to pull something out the gym i'm like uh, can you help me real quick <laughs> please roll this leg out yeah just like Come on. So, Dom, <laughs> aside from your stretching, how would you say your years so far out of a 10? What would you rank it? Ooh, 
<laughs> um, I don't know. Honestly, guys, I can't even cap. Like, Ish has gone down this <laughs> no. year. I know. And I like, so it's weird because I feel like 2022 was like, <laughs> Yeah. Like, are we okay? Like, yeah. And then this year, I don't know. I just had like some health ish go down. I had like they found like an ovarian cyst and like just oh, stuff okay. like the like, girl female shit, female shit. You yeah, know literally. that like men never have to worry about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm like not bitter at all. <laughs> <laughs> And so I feel like that kind of put like a kink in things. And then you know yeah. when it just sometimes when it rains it pours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. So I just feel like floodgates were open. The floodgates were open. Okay. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, that was a January thing, not a February thing. Yeah. 100%. Exactly. Love I'm that. With you. Yeah. We're defrosting. Our it's yeah. our new year. Yeah. We're about defrosting. It. Defrosting <laughs> in Feb. Yeah. yeah. What about you girls? I how's the year been? What are we ranking at? I feel like my new year has been relatively good. Like okay, a, love this for like you, Ho. Six yeah. out She's of not ten. 25 yet. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm not 25 yet. I'm like, well, and hey. Like a, I would say like a six to seven out of 10. That's I, great. I've had some really good weekends. I feel like I've worked hard to like go into the year mm-hmm. like in a good mm-hmm. place. So it's just like a matter of bringing that throughout the rest of the year and not just the first week of January. That's yeah. good. Yeah. What have That's you been good. working on? Um... I have been doing so much more like meditation, like <gasps> Ooh, candle lit she's Pilates. She's in like her acupuncture era. Oh, that's Wait, awesome. Wait, yeah, she's a health and wellness girl. Yeah, and that's what we're in my living room. Oh, yeah. We pull up a video, we grab the candles. Are you guys doing this together? Um, it's more so like I come home from school and there's like a whole ceremony going on. <laughs> <laughs> like she comes home and I'm like, she's there's like, like a shrine around me. Yeah. I'm like... What kind of candles silent. are these? Bath and Body Works. Oh, any kind of candle. I bring out my Joe Malone candles. Oh, okay, oh, Joe. Okay. Hey. Mm-hmm. Recommendation. Uh-huh. I do recommend. Um, any candle I have. Yeah. So is it like yoga puppies. mat in the middle of the? Oh yeah. Okay. You turn the lights off and then you start. You're like, oh, I'm tired. You're not gonna. I'm not. I don't want to do this. And then like five minutes in, I'm like, I am a yoga master. Yeah. <laughs> like I can do this for hours. So are you following a video? Yeah. What's the video? Oh, you just I just look up anything. On YouTube, YouTube or whatever? Yeah. Wow. I love that. I love it. And are you doing this what time of the day? I'm a night I'm a night girl when it okay. comes to working Ooh. out, to be honest. Uh-huh. And is it for mainly like your mental or are you just physically trying to get some stretching? I mean, in? I wanna I wanna be fit, but I I like to work out that also works my brain out. Oh, okay. Yeah. I like that. You know. I love it. And how long are you usually doing it for? Uh I would say uh, like a 45 minute yoga flow wow. slash Pilates. I'm so impressed right now. Yeah, I, I need love to it. do this. She's yeah. really good at like protecting her peace. I've learned that a lot from her. <laughs> uh huh. That. So I don't good. know if it's necessarily like isolating myself or like protecting <laughs> my peace, but like we'll take it. She's defrosting on another yeah, level. Yeah, I'm defrosting, defrosting on another level. Yeah. Well, you should. Have you ever done a TikTok where it's like how I protect my peace, and then you not you've done really? That? I feel like that, I, feel like I, I would be like, what the hell is this girl doing? Like that'd be so interesting. <laughs> okay. No. no, that's good. You should do it. I'm sure people are interested because I feel like I talk about my mental health. Health sometimes on TikTok, so it's just like diving more into. I would love to my see specifics because it's fun. You're like, have you ever seen those TikToks where it's girls explaining like the small luxuries of life? Yeah, that they'll be like, oh, instead of a water bottle next to my nightstand, I'll do a pitcher and a glass or yeah. whatever yeah. random it's stuff like, the like that. Things. That's literally no. The, lit- I'm luxury. such a little thing. She person. also does it in her bathroom. So like, so yeah. when she's like doing her skincare, she doesn't like isn't. It's not as bright, so she won't like be picking my skin, picking her face, or like yeah, like in the morning or at night. I light like my candles, so then it's you can't see like little pores and stuff in candlelight, like Wait, in a bathroom. I kind of love that. I would yeah. love to try that. Yeah. Cause... Oh my god. <laughs> Do you feel like you have? I you pick yourself apart less. Yeah. I'm an anxious. Wow. I'm an anxious picker, and the moment <laughs> I see a pit bull, I'm like, Mm-mm, that's gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> that's gotta get off Me my too. face. And. It's better if I just don't see them. <laughs> you know? Wow, ignorance is bliss. Ignorance, ignorance is, is truly, truly bliss. bliss yeah. Like, I, who is going to be up in my face, like, examining also, no my pores? Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm always like, like this Everyone morning. else is worried, too worried about their own pores yes. to be looking at mine. Exactly. So I should pick less. Which, so by the way, you have flawless skin, so you have yeah. nothing to worry about. <laughs> no, it's but I get it's it. the candles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, Hazley, what about you? What are you rating your year so far? 
2023. Yeah, so far it's been really good. Like, I don't want to like hype it up too much. No, I love it. Know, but I start off strong, but baby. I just think last year was such a developmental year for me. Like, I moved on from past relationships and mm. actually found some really good friends in LA because it is hard. Like, when you first moved to LA, making oh, like, good so friendships hard. and yeah. stuff. So I feel like I finally like have this foundation here where I have good friends. I'm kind of like in my like me era, you know. Love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm I'm I've come I came so far last year that I went into this year being like happy about where I am like mentally and like with my surroundings. So you I'm felt just, like yourself. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I was in a really long relationship for a really long time and I just am kind of coming into myself and finding myself and Everything. This is your year. It. That's yeah. good. That's your good. Slate era. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what Thank things you. have you learned about yourself ever since the breakup? Um, it's been such an interesting process because I was in a relationship since I was like junior of high school. Like it was oh, a wow. really long oh, yeah. time. So were you doing long distance? Long distance wow. for a while. Um, and it was a great guy. Like there yeah. was nothing wrong. It just we were on two different paths kind of thing. And I've just realized that I... There's so many things about myself that you don't realize. Like I would now go and like we'll sit by myself at like a restaurant and I'm like, wow, like I can do this. Like it's yeah. Yeah, so fine. And I can sit in a home on a Friday night and like not feel like pressured to go out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There's just like different things you realize. And That's awesome. That's I love that. I definitely feel like since I turned 25, mm -hmm. I have way less FOMO. Oh, absolutely. I don't know what it is, but I'm just, I feel like I have Jomo now. I'm like the joy of missing out. <laughs> yes. Yes. That comes, oh my gosh. I feel like with like security with yourself. Probably. Like, yes. And like in Amen. your friendships and just like uh -huh. in life. I'm like, like, I don't need to go. It's just not that yeah, serious. I love Jomo. <laughs> Yeah, Jomo Jomo? I'm so using cute. that. My mom's the one that was like, you need more Jomo. <laughs> because I had like serious FOMO. Like yeah. last year yeah. this time, I was like, my goal this year is to work on FOMO. Mm -hmm. And now I feel like I, I enjoy s hanging out with yeah. myself or dates, taking a night in because I feel like my energy, I'm like always putting it into other people. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I've been like trying to just, mm -hmm. d what do I want to do? Yeah, like, exactly. Friday, versus like, oh, this is the plan. It's like yeah, go, go, exactly. go all the time. So I'm trying to do Joe but it's hard. It yeah. is hard, it's especially hard. living here. I feel like since I've moved to LA, away. like you could, you can't even go like an hour somewhere else without missing something that's going yeah. on. An hour, you know, like yeah. there's, you're always going to be missing mm -hmm. something. So yeah. you just have to get used to it. Does anyone have any FOMO or Jomo tips? If you're gonna have a night in, turn your phone off. Do not disturb it. Don't sit there on the couch after you decide what's best for you like looking at stories because you're just gonna like second guess oh maybe I should have gone out like oh I'm not that tired or oh I'm not that anxious mm -hmm. just don't look at it that night do what you want to do and then you can check the stories in the morning mm -hmm. muting my... people is a great option yeah. yeah. oh I love that tip like I love the mute button like mute yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, all muted. Hit him with the like, mute. Yeah, yeah. 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 I just mute. hit him with yeah. the mute. Yeah. You don't want to block hit them. Hit with the mute. But their yeah. content's bothering you. Just mute them. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is a good idea. I used to feel so bad. I don't know why I would feel bad being like, oh no, I don't. I can't go out tonight. Like I could go out, but I don't want to. And I used to like feel this like mm -hmm. guilt, guilt almost of like, mm -hmm. well, I could go. Like, but now I've just like, I think that's been a big thing for me in the past like six months. Even is like realizing like it's okay to be like, oh no, like. Yeah, I'm staying in, mm -hmm. like, have fun, you know? <laughs> totally. I always think about, like, isn't it crazy that our parents, they would go out or they would stay in and they just actually wouldn't know what anyone else is doing. No, literally. And now I know what every single person always. who I even know, it, like, mm -hmm. what they're doing. Even mm -hmm. if they live in a different state, I know what they're doing on that night. And that's, like, not normal. Yeah, it's not. Like, that's I why you know. just have to ignore it. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. mute. Mute them. Mute. Mute, <laughs> mute the house down boots. Jomo, mute. <laughs> Okay, well, I thought since we're all technically strangers, Yay. we would play We're Not Really Strangers. Perfect. I love it. So I figured we could start with level one, and this can be really quick. Have you guys played before, by the way? Yeah, We're Not Really Strangers. Like, have you played? I'm like nervous. I'm I, I have played before. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'll just explain for the viewers. We're Not Really Strangers is an amazing card game I'm obsessed with. First of all, their branding's fabulous. You should follow them on Instagram. Mm -hmm. This isn't sponsored, by the way. <laughs> it just, um, they like post the really like aesthetic. It'll be like a poster on like a stoplight or something mm -hmm. and yeah. it'll say like 
They're sick. And you're it. on the right path, and it's like inspiring. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, they're, they're, it's way less chuggy and cheesy than I described it, but it's cool. <laughs> and they have a card game where it's called We're Not Really Strangers, and you can quite literally play with strangers or your friends um, because they have a bunch of deep questions that you probably would never otherwise think of or yeah. you know conversation starters and then they also have couples edition mm-hmm. i think even like a breakup edition they have yes. a friends one friends yeah, so a many. kids one they so many they're ones. so creative and fabulous yeah. i love them um but anyway that's kind of the game we're gonna play obviously these girlies just met so i thought it would be a fun way to get to know each other mm-hmm. and for you guys to get to know us as well Play. Okay, go ahead, Dom. You can ask Hope. Do I seem like more of a creative or analytical type? Explain. Ooh. Okay, so Hope would answer. Yeah. I I would say creative, just based off of the last. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like hmm. what, why do you think creative? Um, you're just so outgoing and like so yourself, and you come up with all these like witty like sayings and songs to sing. At <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like, you right. <laughs> yeah. no, you ate. You ate. You ate. Ho. Period. Okay. So uh, Keaton, do you okay. want to go and ask yeah. Dom? Oh, I'm asking you. Okay. What do you think I'm most likely to splurge on? Ooh, that's, Ooh. A that's a good one. That's a good one. I have a spending problem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have. Me. That's such a good one. I have like two things. I feel like like a I feel like you'd always be down for like a clothing thing. Mm-hmm. Like shopping, like clothes, 100%. like there's no price tag to She's it. so stylish. Yeah, you just mm-hmm. like if you like something, like you like it and if it I ma- want it, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> if you want it, you got it right then and there. But I also feel like you're always I feel like makeup or like any self care, like skincare, like anything, mm-hmm. I feel like you're always down. Yeah. No, like Beauty and fashion. Beauty, what fashion, I the most yeah. Money. Or it was like you would get a massage or like a facial and not think about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, no, it's totally fine. No, yeah. you're like, like well, yeah, invest in yourself. Time, you know? yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's a good answer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know this wasn't my, uh, my turn to answer, but definitely skims for you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. my God. You love skims. You guys, True. I did my taxes last year. Wow. And I was looking at like the top like three like things I've spent yeah. the most money on. It's like my rent this and like number three is literally skims. Get like out. please someone <laughs> no. get me help. Like, give me help. No, you know? they are the best. But sorry, like, they yeah, worth it. Like, Kim. like <laughs> she drops six new collections a week. Like, what am I supposed to do? No. Like, yeah. oh, I have to have it. No, and it's good. Like, it'd be one thing if it was, like, yeah, mid, quality. but it's really not. Oh, it's yeah. Yeah. yeah, They're, like, good basics, too. Like, you can wear them every day. Like mm-hmm. Exactly. I'm literally wearing skims. You are, like, yeah. paying three skims for North's right education. Yeah. yeah, you are paying for North's education. No, I know. Every time I buy it, I'm like, I should get, like, an award for literally <laughs> spending <laughs> so much oh, money. On this. Like Kim, hit her it. up. Um, <laughs> yeah. What do you recommend from Skims if there is any recommendation? Oh my God, something's wrong with me because like I know the names of everything. So <laughs> please help. Please help me. No, and we love Skims. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dom loves your, Skims too. Like, I be posting yeah. Skims. I see all your Skims stuff. I'm like, she's my Skims girl. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm like, tap in. Um, I love the triumphs. I feel like everyone likes the Cotton Collection. The Cotton Collection is like mm-hmm. by far one of their best. But I like, uh, they came out with, I think it's called uh, Seamless, like Skim Seamless. Oh, they're mm-hmm. soft, seamless. Soft Smoothing Seamless Collection or something like that. Mm-hmm. And that is by far my, my favorite. So what? Like a shirt, They a have tank. just like a plain t-shirt. Um, like they have a fit, there's a fits everybody bra. The love yes. bra that fits everybody that's bra. The best. The, I'm, I'm wearing, wearing it right now. Like on the daily. Oh, the yeah. bralettes yeah. are so yeah. good. Yeah. I'm literally yeah. wearing that right now. Anything from like fits everybody, cotton collection, mm-hmm. or soft seamless. Kim, hit me up. Kim, <laughs> hit me up. Me. Do you have the micro thong? Oh my god, you Don't guys! Get me started you on the micro guys, thong. I accidentally <laughs> bought the micro thong. I so bought I it on bought purpose. I bought it on purpose. <laughs> oh my god, it's been a journey. It's, it's, you guys, you could wear it as an eye patch, and it would still not cover your eyeball. Eye patch is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. You could wear it. As, it wouldn't cover my eye. I wear it as it an, an eye patch, eye. and my eyelashes would still be sticking out. Though. <laughs> oh, it's so no. bad. It's like so the nacho, like the Dorito chip. No. Like Dorito's bigger. White literally. Dorito yeah. like, is bigger. No, it's, no, it's true. So, you have got to see it in so real life. Sick. Y'all Guys, be so sick. I wore it. This is actually a true story. I'm like, scared. Uh-huh. Three days ago. Me too. <laughs> I wore it. Oh my gosh. I had to take time. it off. I was like, I'm being flossed. No. Yeah, it's horrible. It's horrible. I am uncomfortable. This is like 
not okay. Like, mm-hmm. there's no yeah. no situation where I need this. No, like feel, honestly, you should put floss just like there <laughs> in is, replacement. I feel like fashion wise, what you could do is you know how like people do like a whale tail. Yeah, like, you could wear like actual. Yeah, and then put that over as like a whale tail. Like, yeah. vibe. But I, that's actually I feel like at, for practicality purposes. Yeah. but like it makes zero sense for practicality. Yeah, but that photo of Kendall Jenner when it's like she has oh, yeah. a rent free vagina, like oh, that's rent free, and it's stunning. literally, yeah, yeah the no. Illuminati fucking triangle. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like standing. I'm like, I'm literally, no, okay. like, did she is she lasered? What's going on? I don't <laughs> know, but like my coochie Wax. could never. Yeah, so. no, I need yeah, the full. No, the and full when routine. I take duct tape and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> making shit skinny, skinny licious. Yes. Like I was like, there's no way she walked out of the dressing room and was like, this is so good, Kim. No. Like she was probably like, ah, I can't move. Yeah. I can't she move. Has, yeah. yeah. Good luck but to she her. She looked fabulous. Oh, yeah. yeah. Stunning. No, she was that skinny licious kitty. Like, yeah. No, she was. <laughs> the skinny licious yeah, kitty. No. <laughs> Skinny licious kitty. Yeah. Shout out Kenny. Shout out Kenny. With the skinny licious kitty. And we need your full routine, twister. please. No, one thou. Amazing. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. What color did you get in the micro thong? Mine was the hot pink. Mine was hot pink too. <gasps> yeah, oh, we can wow. wear that together. <laughs> Are we supposed to match? <laughs> you guys no, can put your eye patches anything? on and come back. <laughs> no, literally. <laughs> an yeah. <laughs> yeah, next Halloween, matching yeah. pirates. <laughs> pirates. I can't. I'm dead. Okay, I'm going to go. Yeah. Here that goes. was great. Love Keen love loves it. a splurge on herself, and I, I, I need to <laughs> yeah. do that I will more. say I'm a splurger. Yeah. Yeah. No. You know what I saw? I'm pretty sure I have ADHD, and I saw something on TikTok. TikTok diagnosed me. Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> and, and Same. Me on the daily. Yeah. 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 And TikTok was like, if you are, if you have a spending problem, if you're over a splurge, like, it's a sign of ADHD. Like, people with ADHD, like, can't oh, wow. control themselves or something. And I was like, oh, that's so me. No, that's And so I'm like, really, me. no, I just have a problem. Well, and now it's, like, shop pay. I'm like, I mm-hmm. press one button and it's already... And then it's, like, oh, it's yeah. all there. Yeah, yeah, filled out. And I'm like, this is sick. Yeah. Love. When sick. that yeah. purple shop pay yeah. comes up, I'm like, yes. Yep. Yeah. The Skim, should take, Skim should take that off. For real. Yeah. yeah, they really should. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. What about me is most strange or unfamiliar to you? Oh, you're asking me? Oh, because we're yeah. going like this. Yeah. Oh, wait, what is most... Do you want me to most, Yeah, okay. I need to think. What about me is most strange or unfamiliar to you? Most strange? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know what you're going to say. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm trying to think. I feel like if there was something super, like, strange about you, it would immediately stick out in my brain. Like, I would be yeah. like, oh, yeah, that's definitely weird, DK. <laughs> like, why do you do that? <laughs> but I can't think of anything. Some... Like, strange or unfamiliar? Or what's unfamiliar to you about me I really have to think about this because I feel like you're someone who like you're just like so comfortable in every yeah. situation ever like I would never I was kind of shocked strange. by your tennis passion oh really that kind of caught me off guard I don't know you're such like a girl boss and then all of a sudden I was like oh so she's also a tennis queen <laughs> Like, no, it's yeah. she's, country, she's also Serena like a little Williams. country club mom. Yeah, literally. Like, yeah. I guess that makes sense, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know, that, okay. just to like chime in, that would probably be something that was like, oh, okay, Slay. I feel like that Slay does surprise girly. people sometimes, maybe. Yeah. I was going to I guess something like somewhere along the lines of like, your sports knowledge too is like sick, but it's not like oh, strange, like... I don't know. I just yeah. feel like you're Maybe like yeah. unexpected. 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 I would say like I yeah. think unfamiliar or like strange yeah. would be the wrong <laughs> word. Like I'm like I don't find it's anything. Strange. Like I can't think of anything that I'm like that's weird. Okay, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's good. You're like I'm perfect. No, so. I'm literally. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm literally so not strange. It's crazy. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm sure there's something. Maybe we just like you can't haven't gotten to it. that part yeah. of me yet. Okay, I'm not there yet. Yeah, I will be. <laughs> I'm nervous. I know. It is kind of nerve wracking. What do you think is, I'm asking you this, right? Yeah. Okay. What do you think is the hardest part of what I do for a living? Hmm. Oh, you're very unique because Hazley is about to graduate law Mm -hmm. school. Oh, wow. Um, Girl boss. (laughs) You think my tennis is cool? Okay. (laughs) She's literally in law school. (laughs) Thank you. I love it. Um, I think for you, the hardest thing is navigating what to put your time towards. Because in a traditional sense, if you're zoomed out, I feel like most of the world thinks, oh, you should spend time and focus on being a lawyer, right? But you right now are probably making really good money from um, your social media career. 
you probably, I would assume you enjoy that in more in some aspects. Um, you have more creative freedom yeah. and it's just a little less traditional. You're in charge of your schedule. You get to cool opportunities. It's more um, instant gratification. So I think the hardest thing for you is probably navigating what to put your time towards and, and whether, like which which is on the back burner yeah. at times. Oh my gosh, that's you what nailed, I would guess. You nailed it. Yeah, that was I would that was say good, that's good exactly analysis. how I feel. I mean, mm -hmm. for me, it is true. Like I'm in law school. I also like primarily started social media with my sisters. And then I also like have my own individual goals. Mm -hmm. So it's like this weird trying to find the balance between mm -hmm. school, sisters, and my like self. Mm -hmm. So it's like, but at the end of the day, I also want to be able to like mesh it all. So yeah, you yeah. nailed it right I on will the say from my perspective, it looks like you're managing it beautifully oh, thank and you. you really are crushing each category. But I know how hard it is to, mm -hmm. you know, have a bunch of different mm -hmm. number ones where you're like, yeah, ah, sometimes this has to be number two or number three. And that's yeah. really hard. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you. Like I like I was saying, the Virgo in me is like outwardly yeah. presenting yeah. it very <laughs> um, organized. But obviously there's always internal Mm -hmm. I'm like Spongebob. There's like all the Spongebobs <laughs> running around my head. The cabinets are on fire. I'm like, yeah. what goes where? What should I be doing? But I don't know. I think at this point in my life, I'm like, if I don't try to do what I want, now's the time mm -hmm. where I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm 25. Like, I don't have anyone depending on me necessarily right now, like in terms of like a family member or something. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I want to go and do as much as I can and try to achieve everything I want to achieve. And then see where it goes mm -hmm. it's like cool. that episode of kardashians when she's like swiping yes! the stuff away mm -hmm. and she's like okay we're dealing with this move it over wait yeah. explain <laughs> explain it what it is um it's i mean i don't know what, how she said it was it's from a end. movie yeah but she said she got it from like a movie she said it's like that movie where basically she's like kim is describing how she deals with a bunch of issues in her life and she is like s saying it's as if there's a screen in front of her and then in front of her it's like law school and then she moves it over and she sets it aside and then she's like Chloe and Tristan this drama put it to the left like she's just kind of like moving around her whatever's issues. in front of her yeah whatever's yeah, in front of her it. she focuses on that and then moves to the next and like makes it that's kind of like what it sounds like yeah yeah it, it, it is I resonate with that mm -hmm. for sure I'm like a constantly like a rolling to do yeah I have like five different to do lists and they're like yeah. being organized constantly but yeah. yeah that's a great example I loved when Kim talk about talked mm -hmm. about that because I was like that makes sense how you deal how with you that. function yeah, yeah. 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 cuz she's I, the icon, I don't know how. you know yeah. she's even times 10 of exactly yeah, how really. do you feel like being in law school at the same time basically as kim <laughs> um kim she's like, like she's if you want to study together yeah. like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. um well so she passed the bar she passed right? the baby bar the which baby basically bar. means like her first my first year of law school is all of like your tip, like torts contracts property like your basic classes that you have to take so the baby bar means like she passed that so she took all of my finals for those individual exams at the same time and like oh wow baby bar. and now that means she can like actually study and practice for the big bar. actual bar, big bar. Yeah. wow yeah and because she's not in a traditional school setting california like allows you like if you're an x amount of hours w under someone practicing and studying mm -hmm. that's like how she's able to like take that route instead of like being in school wow like i am so Best honestly like props to her because like mm -hmm. i know how hard it is and i don't even have kids oh my god i cannot even imagine an ex-husband yeah. or anything like that so like don't for know her, how she does it all i would the business please, like everything yeah. so yeah. she amazing sly. <laughs> i know okay hazel you ask hope question okay. Ooh, i'm nervous <laughs> oh no 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 it's not bad do you think i intimidate other people <laughs> <laughs> I think so. What? <laughs> you just said how you are about to graduate law school. I know, but like, do you think that's mean? Like, do you think it's like a mean intimidation? Oh, being no, intimidating no, no, no. isn't mean. <laughs> no, no. I don't that think. That sounds scary when you say yes. I don't think it's necessarily that you're like intimidating. I just think you're very intelligent and very in tune with yourself. And someone meeting you who maybe is okay. a little bit insecure may be intimidated by that. Well but, said. Yeah. Someone being intimidated is definitely their problem, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I never want mean. someone to feel Someone's like, like oh my I'm gosh, trying to this girl's them. too amazing. <laughs> yeah, she's <seems> so <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. well, I'll take it, but I also don't want anyone to ever feel. I never want to try to intimidate someone. No, no. you definitely don't. You don't. You're not. <laughs> you're like, very open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. It's not like, yeah, no. 
Okay, we just amazing. met you and we don't get that. Okay, don't yes. thank you. <laughs> nar, nar, nar. Okay. nar. okay, let's go to level two. This one's called connection. I'm and scared. let's start with um, Hope and you can ask Dom and we'll go around okay. this way. Get ready, Dom. Oh my <laughs> gosh, we're leveling up. Leveling up. Okay. If you could have it your way, who would you be with? Where would you be? And what would you be doing? Ooh. Oh, shit. Okay, if I could, if I could have it my way, I, <laughs> singing your way yes. through the same I guess, like I know, I'm like <laughs> singing your way through the page. Yeah, <laughs> Illy. Um, so I mean, I guess if I could be with anyone. Okay, have you guys seen the new You People, that new Jonah Hill movie? Oh, I've heard no, about I it. I haven't. Yes, on Netflix. So oh my gosh. I've heard of it. You gotta watch it. Like it's so fire. But, anyways, he, yeah, I don't. I, I would be with Jonah Hill. Um, <laughs> okay. I guess that's where I'm what? going with that. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm so fine. Or like a Jonah Hill adjacent. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, that's what you're looking for. for. Yeah, like Seth Rogen. Like just something. Seth Rogen. Seth yeah. Rogen, like something of that nature. They're so funny. That's like my type, like for Shizal. Like, Wait, why can I see it? Like on paper. Yeah. Like that. Like, <laughs> yeah, if yeah, you were yeah. to like take a test, I'd be like, mm-hmm. this is all adding up. To yeah. Okay. Like, no, come literally. Here. <laughs> come here. Come yeah. here. Um, uh, where would I be? I would be in just like a really chill, slayed, cozy home mm-hmm. somewhere. Maybe not the US. Maybe like okay. Copenhagen or Amsterdam. Oh, oh, or right. like somewhere sick. Hell you know yeah. what I mean? With Jonah. With Jonah. What, what are you doing? Okay. And what are we doing? doing? We're just like living, babe. Yeah. <laughs> We're just living. <laughs> no. Like <kissing>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're kissing. You're right just like now. going through the canals yeah, on a little boat like... together. <laughs> You're shopping. Yeah, we're shopping. No, here. no. What are you doing in know. the house? Honestly, we are. We're just like being like two, <laughs> two, uh, two cuties. Like I don't even know. You're Let's just vibing. Vibing. We're just yes. vibing. I feel like we would be like icons together. Like people would be like saving our photos <laughs> that we take together on Pinterest and being like, yeah. I want to like I me Goals. and who. Yeah, like who wants to be this? And like people are sliding up on their stories, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So well, you're I, I would with, pin you. Yeah. You're with it. Jonah Hill in yeah. Copenhagen in a house vibing. 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 Hell yes. Good answer. It's like making people happy, making people laugh. It's all good. I know? love it. Yeah. Making people save your photos yeah, on, on yeah. Pinterest. Pinterest. Being goals. Yeah, being just goals. Like I wanna be yeah, as you should be like being goals. Yeah. I love it. Love that. I could see it. Yeah. Okay, well. We're manifesting hey, it. Hey. hey. <laughs> Jonah Hill. Hey, Jonah. Hey, Dalma. <laughs> okay, I'm asking Hazley. Level two. Is there a feeling you miss? Hmm. I think maybe... Sometimes, kind of going back to the FOMO, JOMO situation, like when I was younger and like there wasn't like a pressure of everything on like social media and everything, like sometimes just like living, like when I was in middle school, like going to my like friends' houses and just like Mm -hmm. making the stupid videos and like getting dressed up and like having no concept of like everything around me, just like that happiness of like just living your life and not caring about like the social pressures and everything Mm -hmm. else. I think sometimes I just miss like being a kid, like having like. I feel like that's peak being present. That's a great answer. That is a great answer. Yeah, that would probably be. That's a great answer. Something. Great answer. Great answer. Snaps. Thanks. Snaps for you. Okay. What's been your happiest memory this past year? Hmm. You have so many. I know, so many. I truly, like, in the past year, I've had, like, the best year of my life. And I think it's just because I'm so happy with where I am at mentally that, like, friends and family trips and, like, work stuff, it's all just, like, feels so much more fulfilling because I finally found, like, a place where I feel good at, if that makes sense. Um, But I guess, like, specifically, me, Hope, and Hallie, all my sisters went to Big Sur last summer and we kind of checked out for a few days because there's really not no service like if you're not on wi-fi at the house there's no service oh, in that really? area oh yeah yeah and it's absolutely beautiful I need to go there. Like, the, off the grid yeah it's like five hours north like on the coast 
And it's stunning. And it basically was just, like, so nice. We were just, like, mm-hmm. there for a few days, like, living our lives. It's like going like, out of the country. Yeah. Wow. And, and that was your good, favorite memory. A good, like, disconnect of, like, everything. Sister and, time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was so fun. So I wholesome. And, Very cute. Yeah, found Very myself. Cute. I love it. Very amazing. Okay, so now Keaton, you ask me. What's your father's name and tell me one thing about him? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, his name's Mike. But Mike. fun fact, magic his name's, Mike. Yeah, magic <laughs> Mike. His name's Michael, but it's spelled M I C H E L, so people mispronounce it as Michelle. Mm. Oh. But it's just a family name. Okay. Um Mike King. And what is it? A fact? It's yeah, tell me one thing about him. Oh, okay. I have a great thing. So he literally instilled in me this quote that I talk a lot about on this podcast, but I'm not kidding you. I use it almost every day or like when I'm in, I'm like in a time of struggle. Mm -hmm. And the quote is, if you, if you think you're beaten, you are, if you think you dare not, you don't, if you like to win, but don't think you can, it's almost a cinch you won't. Wait, that's such oh, a so long basically, you, yeah. I, oh, there's more that I, I have memorized. It's like a whole poem I have memorized, oh, wow. Oh, wow. but it's, it's so true. Like the first mm-hmm. line, if you think you're beaten, you are. And it's just basically all about mon- mental toughness and like the state of mind. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's so interesting. Like I, I learned that as a kid growing up, mainly just like in a sports setting, like if you think you can't do it, you, you can't, yeah. you yeah. know? Because I was a gymnast growing up and like things were scary, like yeah. little flips and here and tricks yeah. and whatever. Yeah. And I remember him saying, if you think you're beaten, you are. And now I use it all the time, like when I'm stressed out or I don't think I can accomplish a work thing or, yeah. you know, a relationship is going south. I'm like, and it's just, I, I, yeah. it's crazy how much I think about it now. And he taught me it. It's crazy I how things that. stick with you. Like there's so many like yeah. different memories or different mm-hmm. things that people have said to you throughout your life that like for some reason they're just, you always hold on to. Mm-hmm. That's cool. I like that. And I always think of my dad like saying it mm-hmm. too when it comes. So I, it's funny because I don't think he even knows how much I think about it. Exactly. But yeah, yeah I always think of him and that quote. That's when cute. I, I, I love so that. Sweet. <laughs> Oh, we Random. love Mike. Loving him. Shout yeah. out Mike. Shout out Mike. Mike. Shout out. Love Mike. 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 He's, he's Mike loving Jack. us right now. Mike, 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 Mike. Mike. That's, what, that's what Mike King like. Yeah. With that's a Mike King shit. Yeah. That, if you think you're beating, you is, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Okay. What is a compliment you wish you received more frequently? Wow. Great question. A compliment I wished I received more frequently? Okay. It's, like, weird because you kind of have to, like, compliment yourself while yeah. saying this. And I feel like it's always, like, awkward when someone's like, no, your hype yourself by yourself. Yeah. We are no, not going to judge no, you. No, please. No, no. This is what this is all about. Yeah. I feel like, like, I, you're probably like this too. Maybe it's a Virgo thing. With friends, I have, like, a smaller circle of friends and mm-hmm. stuff. And, like, I always, like, keep them very close. And I feel like I'm a really loyal friend. And I wish that that was something that was coming. recognized yeah. Wow. yeah well not that it's not recognized but i think like that's like a good yeah i think that's a good quality yeah. that i have and so something I'm like, you're proud about, about yeah yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah awesome. that's really it's also something in society that's like so sought after mm-hmm. but not appreciated just in general recognized. enough yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, that's, that's a great, great, answer. great answer. I love that. And loyal she is. You're a great friend, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> She's like, she you know what? Now that I think about it, you're, you're so great loyal. Friend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, yeah. and then you already said yours. Mm-hmm. Okay, perfect. So Yay. that's our end of the segment. <laughs> we're not really strangers. That was fun. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. That was I feel fun. like we're not strangers no, anymore. I know. Really we are. know a lot. <laughs> okay, so I saw these TikTokers doing a draft for random things. I don't know if you guys follow sports at all, but the NFL draft will be coming up soon as we are approaching Super Bowl and, you know, off season. And I thought it would be fun to draft random girly things because these TikTokers that I follow, they have a podcast. I actually should shout them out. The Bread Basket on TikTok, by the way. Um, Shout out them. Perfect. Anyway, I thought I think it's so funny how they draft random things in their life. They'll be like chips, and then the number one draft (laughs) pick will be like a Cool Ranch Dorito, and then the other guy will be like actually the Nacho Doritos or whatever or Lay's. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, I thought it would be fun to get a girl's perspective because a lot of the guy things that they say, I'm like I would not have drafted that number one. So for our girly pop episode. We're going to draft things. All right, let's do it. All right. Let's do it. So we're going to let's start with Dom. You can have the number one draft pick. 
of the first category is brands to get a wedding guest dress. Wedding guest dress. Wedding bro. guest dress. It is almost wed- like wedding season. I know. Normally, like, it's the I also was like, yeah. girl, I feel like I'm going to so many weddings. Yeah. I'm like, the girls yeah. know. Yeah. What are some good brands where people can get their wedding guest dress? Okay. First gonna, round pick. I have. Oh, you just say one. Yeah, you just say one. You're picking like your number one. Oh, your number one. Gosh. Okay, I'm between two. I'm going to go with a tried and true. Lisa says Ga. Ooh. I don't know if you guys have ever shopped there. No, no tell I've me never. More. They are like super sick. They actually just opened their first storefront on the east side um, in Silver Lake, but they oh, have cool. like all their stuff. They have like some original stuff and they carry like some outside brands, but for the most part, it's just them. Ooh. And they're like a sustainable brand. They're really oh, sick. But I love Size this. inclusive. They're the best. And they have so many sick dresses. Cute. It goes from like fun, like patterns and just like normal chill sleek uh-huh. wait i love they carry I've it i've never all. heard of them wait that's amazing dom yeah i love Tap it in. great rack that's okay why we're here we're learning keaton what about you your number one draft pick oh my gosh i'm gonna say house of cb mm-hmm. i think that's my number one i'm so sorry i'm so okay, sorry you've, good been, one. you've been snagged uh, yeah i had that one on my list How's the CB? Good. It's just okay, so explain. good. Like anytime I'm like, if there's something that's last minute, I'm like, I don't like, I have no idea. And then I'm like, I just need to go to House of CB. Like I know that they have a solid color, yeah. plain, mm-hmm. cute dress that will make me look snatched. And that's well, can it. we talk about the fit? Yeah, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Like it's I the always best feel like fit I look ever. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the fit. Snatchy yeah, like and their styles. I feel like are really cute, really unique. Like mm-hmm. I like them. Yeah, and a they lot. are. I feel like they're perfectly on trend but still classy mm-hmm. like, like if you have you an ex-boyfriend who's gonna be at the wedding Ooh, like you should go to house of dress. Yeah. yeah and Little you should glass. like yeah have your knockers up yeah <laughs> they, <laughs> yeah it. they are great if you have boobs and you yeah. want to either the support or like to have them out exactly house of yeah. CB, sway. Yeah. Yeah. yeah i agree okay my number one draft pick for wedding guest dress is going to be reformation that's a good one. Such a good one. That is a really good one. Thank they you. They have like the best. Not I don't want to even call them basic dresses, but like they're just so simple, but like still classy. Elegant. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, timeless. very chic. Yeah. Yes, very timeless. I also will say, similar to how CB, it's the fit is fabulous. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I just love it. Um, I feel like very rarely I go on go into a store and try something on and I'm like, oh my God, I love the way this looks on yeah. me. Yeah. Where mm-hmm. uh, I feel like Reformation is great with that. I love the styles. I love the patterns too. Yeah. They're not too like chewy. Um, mm-hmm. And I will say if you're more of like classy flower child coastal grandma if that's more your vibe versus yeah. like house of cb is a little baddie yeah yeah, yeah. Um, they're great for like separate things almost yeah. but mm-hmm. um reformation if you have like if you have a at home wedding where it's like yeah. there's going to be a lot of parents or yeah. you know, it's if not you're as, trying to be not modest. as cool and chic yes. yeah <laughs> or not chic but not as like yeah i literally wore a reformation cool. dress for like our christmas eve party with all our family yeah, yeah. and i like loved it, it was perfect. exactly Cute. it's definitely you can wear it Cute. around mm-hmm. family members mm-hmm. yes so, exactly. yeah, I'm going Reformation. What about you, Hazley? Number one draft pick. If I had to pick, also this is if I have, like, a really big budget. Okay. Um, <laughs> I love Rat and Boa dresses. Ooh. That's a great one. They're mm-hmm. really pretty and just, like, flowy, but also, like, f- really, like, silhouette I guess is, like, a good word. But they are obviously are, like, on the scale probably a little bit pricier, but... They are just like stunning dresses. Like I and they on anyone and everyone. Yeah. Like I think just like anyone puts those on and it's just like Rat and Boa is a really great one for destination weddings. Yeah. Yes. Oh, like I have worn tropical. like like I wore like yeah, like they're like tropical. I went to a wedding and I wore yeah. one in Tulum. And oh, like probably uh-huh. so I have friends who wear them in Mexico. I'm like, I feel like that's a perfect place to get yeah. Yeah. that kind of vibe. So pretty. and they have really good short ones and long a lot of good long mm-hmm. ones too. Yeah. Love. Mm-hmm. Love that rack. Okay, Hope, what about you? I think my rec is going to be anthropology, kind of basic, but I like tried on this dress yesterday in anthropology and I was like, this is beautiful. It was stunning. And like, they Love. have so many different options. They for... also have a whole bridal oh, yeah. area Sensei now. City. I had never seen that. Yeah, Century yeah. City. Uh-huh. Wow, amazing. I okay, I Hope, I'm going to give you your second round pick because we started with Dom. Love Shack Fancy. Ooh. Deals. Okay. Yeah. That's a good one. Super girly. Yeah, if you're a little 
tea party wedding, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pricey but girly and cute. Yeah. Hazley, where what are okay. you doing? It's like a little pick. basic, I know, but I would probably say Revolve just because they have so many good options and a really good range. Like depending if you want something super formal or if you want something a little more like, you know, mm-hmm. on the lower end scale of budget slash quality. I think you can. There's just so many options. There's almost too many options. Of yeah. On there. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I love that. Um, also, Revolve, I feel like is always good to at least look at. Yeah. Because they have so and many. And just even like inspo. Like if I'm like, I don't even mm-hmm. know where I want to start. You mm-hmm. can kind of like get a vibe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amazing. Okay. Mine's, I don't want to upset people, but because I'm a little breaking the rules, but my second round draft pick is going to be your friend's closet. Oh, that's oh, good. I love that. Yeah. I've I just, done that. <laughs> I feel like there's, it's the wedding guest dress is the type of dress that's like you don't have that many of, but everyone has like Someone one really good one. one. Yeah. So don't yeah. be afraid to ask your friends. And also, friends, don't be afraid to ask me because yeah. I, it's just staying in my closet. And I, likely, if I've already worn it once or twice, You're not wearing or even it, three yeah. times to a wedding, I'm not going to yeah. wear it yeah. again. So yeah, your friend's closet. That's a great that. idea. That's I've done that. I don't know why yeah. I didn't think of that. You're so smart, TK. No. <laughs> love that for you. Such like a real, real answer. Yeah. Yeah, literally. <laughs> actually what I do. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, Keaton. I would say Colt Gaia. Is that how you say Ooh, it? Yes. yes. Oh, that's a good one. Yes. That is a really good one. They have really cute. Like, I remember everyone wore the one that's like, you know, it's got like the, yes. Little, yes. Like the circle you know, the, Yeah, the circle in the middle. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Out, like, mm-hmm. They just have cute dresses for that. I Amazing. Think. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel it. like it's the elevated, Lauren Geraldo and I were talking about this, the elevated IMG. Yes. Yeah. Like, the IMG older. is like in their flop era. Yeah, don't they're, you think? They're, they're, yeah. Not, they're not Gia-ing anymore. They're flopping. Yeah. Gia isn't Gia anymore. So we're going to Colt Guy. Yeah, Colt Guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they'll come back. I want them to come back because they were such a fun thing. Yeah. Well, they were yeah. like a big sleigh. Yeah, yeah. Vegas. I was like, I'm, anytime I go to Vegas, I'm yeah, Gia. Yeah. 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 Daddy, for sure. Daddy. Okay, Dom, second round draft pick. Fashion brand company. They're like really sick. I'm like, <laughs> all mine are like weird. Um, no, but no, I no. That. This it's like this girl. She's like a designer, but it's like super, super fun and cool stuff. But it's also like very like timeless and classic silhouettes. And they have like so many options. They're like something for someone, you yeah. know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And also, if you want to wear something a little more like fun, like I don't know, because at a wedding guest, you're like not supposed to shine. Yeah. yeah. You want to be like, I'm also cool, you know? <laughs> I'm not a loser. <laughs> I'm not a loser. They have options for you. I found so much like they have this like really. Wait, what is the brand? Sorry, I think I missed it. Fashion brand company. Oh, it's just called oh. Fashion Brand Company. Yeah, oh. I know. Oh. They're like, and their social media is so sick. Like. Oh. Like when they showcase the dresses or like when they, it's just like the person like trying it on and they might be like dancing and it's so fun. Wait, that's cool. I know, they're like really sick. I got, they just have so many options, but all the styles are pretty like unique. Wait, I love that. Yeah. I thought you were saying like, hmm, a fashion brand company would be, but I'm going to have to check it out. Yeah. They have like really cool stuff and it's pretty. And the cool thing is too, is like once they're, done for the most part they're like done with that wow like, like yeah that. but it's also like affordable you know what i mean yeah, yeah. i love that we love affordable so fun. fashion brand company i'm writing all of these yeah. down and like great good. like small business that's a good rep yeah that was a good rep okay last one third round draft pick keaton we'll start with you and then go around this way so i'll be last okay my third one is lioness oh that's a good mm-hmm. one i really like australian lioness. brand right yeah it's an australian brand but they always have they're always launching like new collections and stuff and i really like their stuff love it's it. cute simple yeah. love it dom third round draft pick mine's like basic but it's just tried and true asos oh that's yes. a good one. Just, like will never fail you yeah yeah truly. like in a pinch they got your back and five million options. Five million options and affordable too. Very yeah. affordable yeah. and will and can come like pretty fast. Too. Agreed. Mm-hmm. That's another a revolve. They come so quick. Wait, that's why revolve is like you're like, Ugh, the, do I want to order? And then you're like, yeah. but it comes in two and days. The and, the return right now. Right. and return policy. Yeah. The return policy is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, hope. What about you? Third round draft pick. Hmm, I'm gonna go with kind of like another tried and true, like Lulu's. Ooh, oh, that's such a good deal. one. Like. Cheap, <laughs> pretty cheap. And Dang it! <laughs> you can go on, and there's so many options, and just like your truly basic wedding guest dress. Like, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. You know they're gonna have one or prom, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> truly. Okay, go ahead, Hazley. Well, dang it, that was my third one. Um, 
Maybe for Love and Lemons. <gasps> that's, that's a, a good good one. That's a good one. That's, that's what like, I thought you were going to say. Okay. Well, I'll Especially for a spring wedding. Yeah. It's very cute. cute floral. Like normally like the lace or mm-hmm. like the different little added features are just pretty. Mm-hmm. I love that. Okay. My third round draft pick is going to be similar to Revolve, one of their brands, Super Down. Oh, yes. Oh. Just because it's like actually re- affordable. I feel like some of the stuff on Revolve, I'm like, I, I can't pay $700 yes. for this. <laughs> yeah. So s- I feel like some people get intimidated by Revolve, but uh, Superdown has like similar to Princess Polly oh, prices, yeah. which I love. And um, they also have great wedding guest dresses because they're like a bunch of different colors and mm-hmm. it's not just black and white. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's what I would say. Good one. Okay, amazing. Next category, we are going to draft, which we can start with Hazley. Okay. And we can go my way. Okay. Um, is <laughs> things that make girls happy. Ooh. Things that make girls happy. Probably I love plans. <laughs> I'm going to go off of me. Yeah. And I love plans when there is some sort of plan whether that's Mm -hmm. like with a friend or a significant other but I think like I'm so busy all the time that if there's something kind of like set in stone or effort put into what you're actually doing by someone with you like maybe it's just like a quality time thing but Mm -hmm. yeah I think plans would be (laughs) okay plans as weird as that is I love it I I said plants like oh with a t but you said plans Plans. I was like she, Wait, you said plants back to her, but she's talking about plans. Oh, you think <laughs> having plans. Plans. She's like, like it's I was just like, like, if there's a plant like in here, I love it. Okay, but true. <laughs> but like, honestly, no, in my head, I was like, yeah, there's some girls that are plants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a plant girly. I mean, plants are really okay, no, I guess. I was yeah. like, plants like a monstera. Yeah. She I was like, vibe, yeah. Like, yeah. Ashley Fox mm-hmm. loves a cactus. Okay. <laughs> okay, so when someone plans, has plants, like, plans. Yeah, like every girl wants. Like their boyfriend or like yeah, someone, like your girls and your friend group to I make want the plans. plans. Oh. Or like if I make plans with someone, I hate when someone like when you follow up and you're like, okay, like see you tomorrow this time, like for whatever we're doing, and they're like, oh, like shoot, sorry, and I'm like, okay, like to me, I actually made the plan. I don't know. Yeah. I just some I love plans. Okay, <laughs> great answer. <laughs> I love plants too. Yeah, okay, but. well, similar to plants. <laughs> okay, with a T, I'm going to say my first round draft pick is. Getting yourself flowers at the grocery store. Yes. Uh-huh. Things that make girls happy. That's good. I always mm-hmm. do that. I mean, Love it's that. just like, my brother doesn't understand it. He's like, why did you just waste that much money on flowers? Ooh. I'm like, how do you not get it? Yeah, they you make you not good. get it. There's not a price on happiness, okay? Yeah. That yeah, costs the price. little things. I'm like, why are you even asking me that? Yeah. Grow up. Weird. They're yeah, just like up. you in the cart, too, you know? You're just like walking through the yeah. <laughs> grocery store and they're just Yeah. Uh-huh. It just makes me happy. There's no explanation. Yeah. Okay, Keaton, go ahead. Um, dogs. Like every, mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, why do we love dogs? I just feel like we do. And I love dogs so much. I love it. I'm obsessed. I, dogs. Mm-hmm. Like I can't not pet one like if it's passing Endorphins. By. Yeah. <laughs> I love dogs. dogs. <laughs> We're just like, dogs. yay, dogs. <laughs> I know. Dogs. Bad. Makes me so happy. Okay. Dom, go ahead. Um, I love a happy hour, like drinking ass. Yeah. Like that, like how could that not make a girl, you know when you're yes. with your girls and then it's happy hour, like EP and LP. Yes. Like they're happy yes. hour. And then the Little apps, sunset vibe. Mm-hmm. Sickening. Love it. Mm. Sickening. Sickening. I love it. Love that. That's a good one. Hope, what about you? Hmm, I'm going to say emotional support water bottle. <laughs> our, Stan. our Stanleys, we're mm-hmm. cheersing, babe. My Stanley cup <laughs> is mine right now. <laughs> Uh, that's, that's a, a good, good one. one. She carries yeah. it with her 24-7 now. It's like a little buddy. And a hydration. hydration. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love it. Okay, yeah. you can get the second round draft pick. Ooh. So you can go back to back. Can I say yoga? Yeah. Good yeah. one. Okay. That's a good one. Stretching. Yoga. <laughs> Hot yoga. Yeah, stretching. Doing the splits. Doing the splits. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, doing the splits. I'm gonna go home and do the splits. Tonight. Yeah, I can't wait to hear your feedback. Okay, I'll on. send you guys a photo. Yeah, well, when you guys see me in the ER tomorrow, like don't <laughs> mention yeah. it at all. Dom, oh, what about you? I'm stuck. Um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> mind your business. Uh, okay, I love when you're out, like at a bar or something, and you go to the bathroom, and a girl's like, "You look <gasps> stunning." Oh, yeah, yes. yes. bathroom yeah. friends. Yeah, bathroom talks. friends, bathroom talks. Yeah. Favorite. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know what that like reminds me of? Like on Cheer when they do mat talk. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Like girls Same do vibe. that, yes. but yeah. in the bathroom. No, it's like, yeah. you're, like, you're Navarro, amazing, babe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, it's my favorite. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love that. That's a good one. 
Okay. And I truly am so happy in that moment. No, yeah. yeah. I'm like, and everyone's the exact same level of drunk. Yeah. 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 Okay, go ahead. I put like physical things down, okay. but like That's AirPod Maxes, like the big yeah. headphones. Yes. I just feel like that, like I love them. They were life changing. They're trending. I'm mm-hmm. obsessed with them. And that's on noise cancellation. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Protect, that's on that protect your peace. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mute. 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 Yep. Jumbo mute. <laughs> we're muting. Things that make girls happy. Okay. Um, second round draft pick. Things that make girls happy. I'm going sunsets. Yes. 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 Mm-hmm. It's just like yep. when there's a good sunset, everyone's posting on their story. Yep. It makes Camera's us happy out. for no reason. Mm-hmm. Like, it just like makes it brings every you time. joy. It gets you off the screen. Yep. Uh, yeah. Love that. It's me. I'm there every yeah. time. <laughs> Phone out. Hazley, what are you doing? Second, Second round. Second round. Pick. I'm going to go with candles. I have yeah. that on my list. Yeah, I that's love good. Sure. a good candle. I just light it and I'm like, ooh, she, she's cute. Oh, you know me. <laughs> Smells good. <laughs> yeah. Third round draft pick. We'll start with Keaton. I'm going to say getting ready like for a night out oh, yeah. that was gonna be yeah. good was like, no. No. like it's just something that's like so specific for girls that like we just enjoy yeah. yes it's fun yeah. for what that's reason like why I get the music I playing yes. Yes. Yeah. you're taking Damn, your time you're going one. so slow like it's just the best vibe yeah. i can't believe that yeah. wasn't a first round i know yeah. i didn't really remember it till now that's so. really good yeah. okay dom go ahead a clean house like when it's yeah. fresh mm-hmm. crisp clean crisp. and you're just like sitting on the couch and everything's in oh, its place yeah. mm-hmm. that feeling a million percent Amen. pure joy it's like when yeah. you climb into fresh know. sheets they will like, never know <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. or like getting into your sheets after a shower yeah. yes too. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love it no. all the same all the same <laughs> okay Hope what about you thing girls love I'm gonna say like having a signature scent yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, that's, that's a great a one. one. And like, girls love to like when you ask to so, like tell about oh, yeah. talk about yeah. it. Like when you have like that specific smell, I love that. Do you have a signature scent? Miss Dior. Yeah. And don't play with that. Miss Dior. God, you asked. It's Miss Dior. <laughs> if you didn't smell it already. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Okay. Hazley, what about you? My third round would probably, and this may be like more specifically to me, but I think most girls, like when I get slay content, like Ooh. I look good, feel good, and I get that, like when like you're a with good your Instagram friends. Pic. When yeah. you were taking yeah. pics. When you get the Instagram pic and you like look at it. And a fit that you wanted an Instagram yeah. pic in. You're like, oh. yes, yeah. this is what I wanted. Yeah. That's so good. And with your mm-hmm. friends and like, you know, it's just yeah. so fun. And you I love you content, ate. but yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I I relate to that because I feel like every time I don't want to take Instagram pics is when I look the best or when I want I'm in the mood to take it I'm like shit's not going on yeah. for me yeah. Yeah. So, yeah when it all adds up and you get when that the stars slide, align when the stars align you're just like yeah yes. okay um last one is me I think and uh, things that make girls happy I'm just gonna say they're a little like coffee or matcha like in the morning yes. and take a photo a fun or drink. going. Yeah, yeah, fun little beverage little that isn't water. Mm-hmm. A little bevy. A little bev. <laughs> yeah. You know what I almost said? What? That is kind of random. I was going to say anything mini. Like, I feel like girls <gasps> like everything yes! mini. Yeah. Yes. Like, if it's mini. small. Like, the it's like, a mini I, section. Yes. Yeah. But, like, why? Or mini M&M's. No, I don't, yeah. even, I don't even like fun hot side. sauce. But, but like if a I mini see hot a mini sauce? hot sauce, it's in the purse. Yeah. Like, I don't 100%. even use hot sauce. Cute. I don't even use it. But I want it. It's cute. It's like drinking. Need. <laughs> Obsessed. Amazing. Yeah. Okay, last one we're going to do is underrated TikTokers. Hope you go ahead. I need to hear someone. Okay, I'm going to say he's a dance creator. Our friend Lars oh, Gummer. Yeah. Okay, I love this. him. He is the one that just came up with the dance to the painter baby you can be the muse <laughs> okay yeah <laughs> Miguel in the studio uh, <laughs> you can be the <laughs> sure thing right sure thing yeah sure thing oh sure thing yeah yeah he created the dance to it he doesn't get enough credit I love him and his yeah. videos oh I know that dance mm-hmm. now whoa okay great I love him mm-hmm. he's like who do you think is underrated <laughs> oh my gosh okay I have her name's Marissa, but I'm blanking on like what her actual like handle is. But she makes these videos that are like um 
like Chinese street fashion videos and I am obsessed with them. They are so cool. Wait, is it like the slow? Yeah, it's like them. Like they're like walking. Walking on the street. But it's not like planned. Like she just like gets the content and like it's just like highlights the really cool pieces they have and how they're just like literally slaying at any time of day, any day of the week. And I just like, it's so inspirational. Mm -hmm. And I just think it's really cool and not something that you see a lot. Her name's Marissa, but I can't remember like what her handle is, but... It's okay. Really cool bed. Fair enough. I love it. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go. My number one draft pick on underrated TikTokers is going to be JC Marie Smith. Oh. Uh, yeah. I feel like she's she has a lot of followers, but like in my head, not enough. Like oh, she no. should have like, like three more million. People need to know about JC. Yeah. yeah. She needs to be yeah. in the mill for she sure. She needs to be in the million. She's it's not. Actually, blows my mind that no. she's not. Yeah. Wow. I would have. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Sure. Like, she needs crazy. to be, like, walking carpets, like, yeah. doing everything. She like, needs to be out in the go, street. like, back entrance, because, yeah. like, yeah. everyone's obsessed with her. <laughs> to me, I'm like, she is, like, that's that literally, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah, such a good TikToker. She's so nice and normal, but also she slays and, like, she's can bring so out. funny. Yeah. Uh, she's, yeah, she's hilarious. She's hilarious. She's, she's, she's my Alex Earl. <laughs> yeah, she is my Alex Earl. She really is the full package, and she also is just cute as a button and so nice, and she is funny. Yeah. And I think she's just really good at capturing it yeah. on TikTok, yeah. too. I feel like there's a lot of times I'll, like, think of something and she just executes it so oh, yeah. well. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm Which going is, a, is a skill, for sure. It is. It is. Keaton, who are I'm going to say uh, this girl, her name's, like, Liv Mani. I think it's her. Oh, oh name. Yes. Like, yes. M-A and an I. I know her. Makeup her skin skincare, videos. her beauty. I think I know who you're her, talking about. Yeah. yeah it's, she has she the always best does, skin. like, the sideways, the sideways videos. It looks like Vogue. Yes. Yeah, you. She like is really stunning. Love. I just like watching people who have like a perfect face and skin, and I'm like, yeah, like I yeah. just her put on her makeup is just like it's rubbing it. It's very yeah. aesthetic. Yeah, she very also aesthetic. is very nice. Yeah, she, she's awesome. She seems like super cute, and I think she needs more followers. I, I like, agree. I like her content. Oh, That's a good one. I just followed her TikTok the other day. That's mm-hmm. funny. Oh really? Yeah, because I saw I love the sideways ones. Yeah. I'm obsessed. Dom, okay. who are you saying? First El- round pick. Eliza 1K. I don't know if you guys know. No, I've never is. heard of her. Dude, she's so funny. She like, she just posts these videos where she'll be like, going into work today looking snatched. <laughs> and mm-hmm. she's working at Whataburger. I don't think she does anymore. But like, she's so funny. And Or like, if she's going out, she'll like show everyone what she's wearing. Like, she'll be like, outfit from here, outfit from here. And then she'll be like, and keep your man at home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, she's so funny, bro. Wait, I'm going to have to follow all these people. Oh my gosh, she's the yeah. best. Okay. Her videos are so funny. She's I got like that. the humor, but also the good yeah. content. Yeah, and she's from Texas, so she's like down. So you're related. She's like, girl. Yeah. yeah, she's a down girl. Amazing. <laughs> okay, Hope, go ahead. I'm gonna say she's kind of like fashion influencer girly. Her name's like Mia Reagan, Mimi Moocher. She is <laughs> she's from the UK. Okay. She's dating Romeo Beckham. Is that oh, cool? okay, casual. Oh no, she is so cool. Like it girl. Wow. I love her. And I'm gonna she, have to follow. She has like very like interesting, eclectic pieces, and she always gives them the tag. So, oh, I love that. I, I love a tag. Yeah. I love it. We, we appreciate non gatekeepers. Yeah. 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 A million percent. We like, totally if you're going to influence it. me, influence me right. You know? Exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Second round draft pick. I'm going to go with my friend, Jack Cook. Do you know Jack? Oh, yeah. Mallory's boyfriend. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, wait. Jack you know Cook? what? Yeah. That is a really great answer because he slays. He so is out here slaving. He his, daily like, his daily vlogs. His daily vlogs. Oh, his daily vlogs. His daily vlogs are bomb, too. Like, it's so I'm high like, production. Yeah. I literally Quality, watch them and then I'm like, no, it's insane. I need a nap. Like, yeah. I don't know okay. why. Like, He's I'm, like, I went here and then I did this yeah. and then I did this. And I'm like, oh, my God, Jack. Yes. And then I went and ran three miles and then I went to Air One and then I got you, Europe mate. I was like, and then I just filmed a whole movie. I was like, how? And it was like, and then I just edited this whole project, and then now I'm doing. I'm like, oh and my! I then I made yep. croissants. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> from scratch. I'm like, how? From Dude. scratch. And then <laughs> I was wild. wild. No, literally, and I watch it and take a nap after. I'm like, ah, oh, I'm like, <laughs> like today was <laughs> great. <laughs> like, it's so much fun. Good for you. you. Good for you. Really. No, he. That's a great answer. Okay, thank you. I feel like Jack. Not only is he a very kind human being and he's just like I feel like he's always willing to help and he's so I don't know I I just love him in real life but he also is actually a modern day Casey Neistat like he dead ass is like uploading a video that's such high quality I'm seeing no one else on TikTok upload such high quality vlogs he's been doing it for over a year now I think he's on his like 400th 
yeah. something vlog. Yeah. And it's crazy to me that he doesn't have more followers. Justice yeah. for Jack, honestly. Justice for Justice Jack. For so go Jack. follow him. Like, he's awesome. Yeah, he's um, he is awesome. And I wish that he got... It, it makes me sad when creators that are so, like, awesome, pe- such awesome people and then are making like consistent quality work and they don't blow up. It's yeah. like, what else do you tell them to do? And it, it's just, it is a grind at yeah. the end of the day. Yeah. Like, I don't know what else to say, but I wish that he got more recognition because if I was putting in that time and I don't, I don't think I would have made it this far. No. It, no. I mean, it's really admirable. He's yeah. doing it right. I agree. Okay. Keaton, go ahead. Second round draft pick. Um, I'm going to say uh, one of my friends, Maddie Bernard uh, she makes like super. She does like beauty lifestyle mm-hmm. kind of content. Oh, amazing! But she also has a jewelry line, and Ooh, I love cute. her jewelry, and it's so cute. So I like her TikTok. I love that. I love. Mm-hmm. I love it. Okay, Dom, go ahead. Me? So Andrew the Virgo, I think he's like relatively. He like just recently started popping off, like uh, seeing his videos a lot on my for you page. But now I watch. He has like a lot of series now mm-hmm. where he like he'll tell back to back story times, like. And it's so nice because when I'm getting ready, I like play them because they're like three oh, minutes okay. long, like mm. really good wow. story times, like amazing story times. And there's like a playlist he has. So I just like play them and then uh-huh. it goes in order. Yeah. And, and he'll do them that. in the same day, too. Like I feel like, OK, and come back tomorrow. No, it's like right here. Wait, right really? Now, I'm telling I'm you. I'm going to have to follow. He's so good. I need Wait, to follow I love him. that. I need we to follow We love follow well. Virgo. I know. Love. Andrew. Yeah, say less. <laughs> say less. <laughs> Say less. Okay, Hope, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to say Tim Chusano. Oh, yeah. He's mm-hmm. Casey Neistat vibes. Wait, really? Big. I love him. Yeah. Wait, which he, guy? Is it? Wait, show me him. The dad from Brooklyn. Yes. He is Brooklyn Casey dad. Neistat. So he, Jack's like a young Casey Neistat. That's like <laughs> okay. modern okay, right now. Okay, now I get the vibe yeah. now. I love Tim. He does his daily vlogs, and the way he narrates them are just very poignant. Yeah. And he's good with his words. Very reflective. I love it. I don't think I've ever seen any of his. But Wait, really? That. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you'll love him. It's What's like his name again? Tim, Tim Chusano. It like starts where it's like, this is the day in the life of a 40 year old. And then it always loops. That's it loops. like his thing. It like connects. It like always comes full circle. Yeah. Circle. Like, this is how I spent the best day in my life. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's really He loves good. his wife. Loves Aww. his wife, loves his kid. That's cute. Mm-hmm. And he's grinding in New York. Yeah, he like wakes up at like 4 a.m., like runs. Oh my gosh. And then and goes, then to, goes like to work. 10. It's very impressive. Yeah, like wow. 9 p.m. Mm-hmm. Slide. He makes me feel lazy. <laughs> Inspirational, <laughs> but. Yeah. <laughs> Hazley, who do you have? Um, I'm going to say, kind of similar to Hope's first round, Jaden and Kara. Kara. They are two dance creators, and they like made like the Lizzo dance. In a minute, I'm going to need to. Oh, no way. Wait, I think I know them. I yeah. Love them. They are so good. Like so talented. genuine dancers, but then also like I just think the problem, I mean, we are on kind of more the dancing side of TikTok, like all of these dance creators normally end up making these dances and the dances go viral and the creators don't always get the same recognition as the people who make the dances. Mm-hmm. And we're the ones doing the dances, so like I think I I understand what they mean when they say that but yeah they're just super talented and most dances that you see nowadays are coming from like them Mm -hmm. and i do miss seeing like more dance content on my not that i was like doing dances but i just it was it was such an era and it it was was. fun to watch it is fun to watch Mm -hmm. you guys are still grinding out the dances though i try (laughs) you know yeah is it harder to find um newer dances now there's definitely less yeah, there's definitely been like a shift in the like, in, in the dance dance like, shortage. It's like either a really easy dance or it's like now a lot harder. Or it's it'll like be like the same dance done to like ten different songs. You know, like yeah. the oh, I know, I want it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. But they're really, really talented. I love your renditions of songs. Yeah. Oh, like... No, like so yeah. so good. Okay, I think we have one more. One more? Yeah. Yes. Okay, Dom, you start. Okay. And Marge.mp3. She has, like, the sickest music taste. Oh, cool. And her takes are, like, hella... She's just very, like, intelligent with, like, her music knowledge. So she'll be like, oh, yeah, you guys got to listen to, like, R.E.M.'s 
album from like 1983 and then you listen to it and you're like oh my god all these samples are from like whatever it's sick oh, she's wow. so sick wait I love all these people that Ooh. Dom's recommending because I've never I heard know. of them I feel like my For You page is cursed for sure <laughs> Like, yeah. I like have cursed ass people. Too. I like watch the weirdest stuff on TikTok. She's like, okay, you're gonna recommend someone. I'm like, okay, so my soap ASMR. I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, no, I'm like, I literally watch Minecraft ASMR to go to bed. Yeah, I'm no. like, I can't, I, like, no. I can't recommend, like, recommend this to that? you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, no okay, well, we're, we're all gonna have to follow. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, Keaton, go ahead. Um, okay, Third my round. last girl. Because I just follow a bunch of girls that do, like, beauty and fashion content. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Um, but there's one girl. She lives in New York named Chanel McKenzie. Okay. Um, yeah, she's super cute. You know what yes, I'm talking I know about? I've met she her. She has, she's like, the sweet. sickest style, I feel like. She's really cute. The Virgos have similar for you pages. Yeah, yeah. we are, like, mm-hmm. in the same We're staff. You're insane. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Yeah, okay. Um, my third round draft pick is going to be, she's a fashion reviewer. Her name's Jasmine Aria. I'm, I hope I'm saying that right. She is, in my opinion, one of the best, like, fashion reviewers. Like, whenever it's Met Gala, any award show, like, I'm going to her page to oh. see what she thinks because mm-hmm. I feel like she has really good taste and she's very real and isn't biased. Mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of fashion reviewers, which I get it, are, like, overly nice to celebrities they want to yeah. be friends with. But I'm like, yeah. okay, mm-hmm. but, like, and we, like it's what, about what they're wearing. Let's dress it. Yeah. Is, 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 isn't hitting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So um, she's really, 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 I think she has great style. And um, I just love that she's so casual with it. And she is a nice, you can tell she's a nice human. She's not ripping them apart. Yeah. I feel like she's just very real. I want to look her up. Yeah. Her name is this girl. Oh, amazing. Have you ever seen her? No. But the vibes are cool on her page. I feel like I've seen this girl before. Mm -hmm. 100%. 100%. And she'll be like, oh, this collab. She was just talking about the Tiffany and Nike collab. Oh, yeah. Huge. Yeah. Or like, oh, yeah. I feel like she's, I'm always learning, like, oh, this is happening in the fashion yeah. world. And uh, like, I went to fashion school, so I'm a fashion girly. Like, mm-hmm. I like learning that stuff. And I, I feel that. like she's very underrated. She she has 171K, but I, in my head, she should have a million. So, yeah. Love shout that. out Jasmine. <laughs> okay. Mine's a little different. Okay. This time, it's not a person. Okay. But I don't, so, I don't know who's running it or where they're getting it from. But it's called Thought Catalog. And like T H O T? Thought, like thinking. Oh, okay. <laughs> thought. <laughs> Not like T H O T is on one day. She's like, like plants and thoughts. Plants and thoughts. <laughs> I was thinking like one of those like '90s like Instagrams yeah. that's like so. I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> maybe I need to find one of those too. But yeah. no, like regular thought. Yeah, just okay. actual thoughts. Um, yeah. but it's called Thought Catalog, and basically it like is little like. Poems. Oh, I've seen these. Oh, I've seen yeah. these. This yeah. is so you. And this like so you. when you're scrolling and you know, sometimes you're like, you get in your head, you're like, oh, this girl has perfect skin. I'm loving this outfit. Oh, I need to do more. This guy just did everything in this day. Sometimes these little <laughs> thoughts will pop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When it pops up, yeah. it's just like a, I don't know. It's, it's like always, a modern it magazine. It always hits perfectly, whatever it says. Yeah. It's like, you know, slow down or <laughs> you're doing great. <laughs> and I'm Wait, like, this is very similar to your news Instagram. Yes, a little, yeah. Which, can you explain what that is? Because I'm yeah. obsessed with it. I'm like her biggest fan. It. Shameless yeah, plug. It. Um, basically, I love news. I love like current events and like mm-hmm. being in the know. And that's ultimately what I want to do. And I kind of found that there was this like shortage in kind of like Gen Z news consuming because obviously everyone's consuming content so quickly that people – like younger kids, even my age, but to Hope and Hallie, mm-hmm. my sister's ages, aren't like turning on the TV to see what's going on. It's all pretty social media based. And I just feel like there's a lot of partisan pushing sources. And I wanted to try to find a way to like talk about what's going on without having any like political bias push mm-hmm. and just like give you the facts of like this is what it is. This, this is, is what's what happening. happening. Like if yeah. you don't understand, like you're yes. going to explain it. In a way exactly. That's yeah. Like that's there's no I mean. hidden agenda. It's also aesthetic. Like show her your yeah. Yeah, page. I see. Yeah, I it's follow. basically like she'll, she'll it's post really a reel. Small. I like just started it, but. No, it's really good. She'll post a reel and it'll be like basically the news of the day, but it's aesthetic. Yeah. Her- yeah, it's what's the name? Haze, H A S E. Do it with the sound on. It. <laughs> <laughs> and she has like rain but sounds when it's a. It's like, like this was January 18th. I try to do it like once a week just because, like, but whatever's going on, it kind of like matches the vibe. Oh, and wow. she'll explain the news of like what's mm-hmm. going on. Yeah. 
Yeah, Thanks, wait, that's guys. so cool. Mm-hmm. I like just started it, but yeah, I just like ultimately want to be able to like talk about what's going on with people feeling like there's some ultimatum or I'm pushing you to feel a certain way about something. I just like, I don't know, knowledge is power. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I think mm-hmm. we should all be informed and make your own opinion based off of what you see. Kind I of thing. feel yeah, like the really news good. too I see now is like, TikTok news, like it's like yeah. gossip. It's like Britney Spears is dead. Yeah. <laughs> like, yes. Rumor. Okay, yeah. Um so <laughs> I like that well. yours is like what I wouldn't typically learn on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Are you posting on TikTok yet? So actually if you guys have any advice, I'm like unsure the best approach to like how I should be sharing it on TikTok because people consume Instagram and Reels very differently than how they consume TikTok. Mm -hmm. Like TikTok's so like clickbaity in terms of like Instagram is the more of like aesthetic reel. So I just haven't figured out the crossover and I'm just like with school and everything going on else right now. It's kind of like a good start for me to like build it and then once I graduate, I'm gonna like really dive head first into it. Okay, so I have two last questions for you ladies before you get out of here. One is this podcast is called Making Moves, so I want to know what are y'all doing to make moves in your life right now? 2023, new year. Mm-hmm. It can be personal, it can be professional. What are we thinking? Anyone can go first. This is so like random, but I'm like <laughs> trying to incorporate more veggies into my life. Like Oh, that's a good one. Just making because, moves. like, colorful <laughs> meals. Truly, making moves. I'm like, it is crazy how much, like, what you eat affects you. And, like, I think when it's so easy when I'm busy to just, like, Uber eat something or, you know, I get home from school. Mm-hmm. And I just am like, okay, like, I'll just make something quick and easy, which normally isn't, like, veggies. So I'm trying <laughs> to move more veggies into my system, wow. you know, more love greens. <laughs> I love that. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. That's a good one. Thanks. What mm-hmm. about you, Hope? I have been like trying to do like my own like YouTube channel, like vlog. <gasps> yeah. Yes. She's a YouTube girl. Like, trying, yeah. trying, cool. trying. Yeah. And I'm about to turn twenty, so I think I was gonna do like a uh, twenty videos for my twenties. Oh wow, I love that. Yeah. So that's that's the moves that hopefully will be made. <laughs> but entering your twenties is like a big thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's been like- my favorite. New decade. Favorite decade yeah. so far. You should do a video that's like goals for my 20s and, and then come, like back, a, come back to it every year. Like a goals for my 20s. I'm going to do like morning, my teens, like all the I love stuff. It. Yeah. 20 things I learned at 20. Yeah. The classic. Yeah. Keen's quite the YouTube girly. You should ask her for some advice yeah, if you ever need YouTube. any. It's, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm like, I, to me... All these other platforms and like for me, YouTube is just never. I it's watch YouTube every day, all day. Yeah. It's my Still, favorite too. Constant. I'm like, that's my form of media. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's the best. I love. YouTube. I love that. That's so exciting. Mm-hmm. I can't wait Thank to subscribe. You. Yeah, subscribe. <laughs> Keaton, what about you? Um. Okay, I saw someone say this the other day, and I was like, I'm gonna do this for the new year. They were like, make all of your appointments that you like have been putting off at the beginning of the year. So like your dentist, your gynecologist, like your doctor's appointment. That's a good tip. They were like, make every single one of them and plan them out and like get them out of the way because I end up at the end of the year being like, um, did I do that? Oh, I should have scheduled that. And then you kind of cram things in. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So that's one of my goals for this year is to like actually like plan yeah. those like important things out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like We're adulting. Like oil change. Yeah, yeah, be an adult. Okay. Yeah. I need to like yeah. get it together. So. It's also so important to make those doctor mm-hmm. checkups because you just never know. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. When someone could catch something early on. It's and then just, you put it scary. off and you have no idea. And I was like, I really need to like just make more of an effort to like do that. And that's make a great one, Keaton. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love that. Okay, Dom, what are, what are you doing to make moves right now? Um, I'm like, well, you see, I'm doing it like <laughs> it's I, it's a move that I'm making, but it's like the opposite of moving. It's just like being more still. Oh, oh. I mean. love this. Yeah, I got to slow down. Like I just really yeah. got to. And yeah, it's crazy because I had like a psychic reading and she was like, you got to slow down. <gasps> really? Oh. Yeah, it was like the only time she's ever been like, you got to slow down and also you need to go to the doctor because like, there's oh, some wow. ish like going down. That's crazy. And then I had that ovarian cyst oh rupture, and then they like found oh. a bigger one. And I was she like, said that before you even. Yeah, what? but she like called it. Like wow. you like didn't know that I something had, was going. No, on. I had no clue. Oh my god. Because I had something go down in like 2017, but this was like new. And then ever since that happened, it was kind of yeah. like that's a, crazy. Oh, yeah. like like maybe I yeah. should take yeah, her like, advice. No, yeah. like this is 
FR. So, <laughs> yeah. So ever since then, I've been, like, really serious about, like, if I'm tired, like, I'm tired mm-hmm. and that's it. Like, yeah. no compromises. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, of course, there's a time to, like, put a little extra pressure. Yeah. yeah. But for the most part, I'm, like, being very intentional with just being chill, yeah. like relaxing, taking mm-hmm. care of myself, like mm-hmm. big self care era. Yeah. Are mm-hmm. there any specific things you're doing to like calm down or be still? Yeah. So, uh, have you guys ever gone to like a breath work class or? Oh, mm-hmm. I actually recently kind did a little of. bit with, of breath work. Yeah. There's like open. They have a, they have like really great breath work classes. They actually have a studio in Venice. And then, yeah, just, like, that's, like, a super intentional, cool. like, way that literally calms down your nervous system, but, all like, so many things. And then also, like, sound bowls. I know that's very, like, mm-hmm. oh, I love those. Woo, 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 like but... a sound bath? <laughs> no, I love that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's no, so it's true. insane. It's, like, intentionally slowing yourself down. Mm-hmm. And yeah. it's so powerful. So. Mm-hmm. I love that. Mm-hmm. You need to try Hope's I know, and yeah. the candle. And I love sound bath. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, Brandon's gonna over. walk in the bathroom trying. It's gonna be like dim. And I'm gonna yeah, be like, literally. Oh, I well, can't see how you're doing. And then I'm like hanging from the ceiling. Like, literally. <laughs> no, literally. Doing pil- yeah, what's yeah. that called? Yeah, the like Pilates, but it's like from the ribbon. Aerial pil- yeah, yeah, the aerial Pilates. Yeah, aerials. Yeah. And I was Scarves, like, <laughs> yeah. my roommates are like. <laughs> Okay. It's okay. We're in LA. We can get away with yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. And then last thing is I made everyone bring a recommendation, mm-hmm. whether it's a book, a movie, a product, literally anything, a song. So let's start with you, Hope. What recommendation do you have for the Making Moves listeners? I was so on the fence about so many different things. Okay. But last night I was putting pimple patches on my face and I looked at myself and I was like, I wish I had pimple patches growing up. Because if I was in high school, I would wear those things every single day. and They save lives. So my recommendation is <laughs> Zit Sticka Pimple Patches for like... The be- they're the best. They're the best. Oh, really? They're uh-huh. by far the best they're ones. They're the best oh. ever. And this they, have, with you. they have different types depending on different kinds of acne. Like if you have like an underground mm-hmm. zit okay. versus like a white head. Okay. Yeah. And then if you want cute ones, Skin Gym has ones that still work and they're like pink and have like little little hearts. hearts. They're so cute on her. I'm like, I want to stick some on my face for Valentine's. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, I love Mm -hmm. And the zit ones, like I put makeup like right over sometimes. Like I usually use the invisible hero cosmetic ones, but I need to try the zit sticker. The zit sticker ones, like when you take it off the next day, like, has the whole pimple oh, like no. on, like, on it. it? Like it's like yeah. almost as if it like extracted it oh my while gosh. it was sitting there. It, it's wow. so crazy. It works. It's going to That's work. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, wow. I love it. Yeah. Where can you get them? Um, I get them all online. So, I don't Do they have know. Them on Amazon? Amazon. Okay. Probably Amazon. Great. Yeah. yeah. Hazley, what's your rec? Okay, this one is from TikTok. Actually, it's my only purchase I've ever seen on TikTok and actually bought and like followed through with. And it's also a skincare thing. We're really in our skincare uh, era. Mm-hmm. Well, I can tell. It looks oh, great. Thanks. Thank Skin's, Skin's glowing. Filter Baby is its name. And it goes. Do you know what this is? No. And share. It- <laughs> and share. Tell us more. Okay, so her name's Filter Baby and she goes on my sink. And apparently, the like magnes, is it the fluoride? The fluoride. magnesium, all these different things like in your pipes because we live in L.A. in the water and like I'm living in a really old building. It's wild. When I like first took the thing off my sink, the like black and like stuff coming out was I've disgusting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's basically like a little Brita but on my sink and it, my skin instantly. Wait, get out. Yeah. Wait, can you send me the link? Yes. Where can no, everyone truly. get it? Filterbaby.com. I think. Filterbaby.com. <laughs> Filterbaby. Wait, Filterbaby. Wait, no. I'll, I'll no, link I'm, everything I'm, in the yeah. description, you guys. I literally got Hope and Hallie one for Christmas. Yeah, I'm so excited. I, like, I just told so you much. I have a spinning problem and you're doing this to me and <laughs> it's really messed up because I'm going to go buy it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm like the most easily influenced. I'm like, oh, beard. Okay. Yeah. I've yeah. heard, have you seen on TikTok, I, I've been tempted to buy it, the yeah. Jolie oh, shower Oh, my God, I just ordered it TK yesterday. On Amazon, no. I'm not. I'm not okay. I see it on TikTok <laughs> and I buy it immediately. Yeah. You have to tell us how it is. But yeah, yeah. I, I was a little thrown off because I was like, I don't want to keep buying it. Because don't you? Yeah. Isn't it a subscription? Oh my god, is it? What <gasps> did I buy? I know. Yeah. I think like every few months you're supposed every to like switch. Every few months you're supposed it. to get a new one, but yeah, it's well, expensive. We'll, I feel we'll figure like that out. Maybe it's just the filter that you're. Using? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that would make that sense. seems like an issue. Whole thing. For, yeah. yeah. A few months from now. And I'll keep you posted on that because I did order. Yeah. How much is the? 
I baby think thing. What's it called? It was like 59. <laughs> filter, filter baby. Filter baby. <laughs> How much is a baby? Yeah. How much I is think baby? your first time purchase was filter like baby. 60-ish. Okay. But that's like the filter itself and your first filter. And then like every three months, it's only like, I can't even remember, but it was like way less, like 15 to 20 mm. to get the replacement filter. Mm. But now I'm like, maybe I will get, I've seen the Jolene one and I'm yeah. like, this is working so well on my face. And I feel like even brushing my teeth feels better, like mm. just cleaner. Okay, okay, I'm gonna buy that. Today. And now I and think I, I want to get the shower head. Yeah. Shoot. Okay. Yeah. okay. Shoot. Uh, Shoot. I love it. Okay. Uh, my recommendation is this massive coloring like page. <gasps> okay. And because I've been, that. I'm in my coloring era. Yes. I oh, I'm obsessed with coloring. You don't have FOMO, so you're sitting at home and you're coloring. coloring. Yes. yes. I, I, should I, we all color been, together. I get coloring it. Party. I get I'm it. So um, well, I love it because it gets you off your phone and you're doing a craft and it's like instant gratification. You're like, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's fun. It's also fun because I feel like sometimes I'll be watching a show and I'm like still on my phone and when I'm coloring yeah. and watching, it's like, I'm yeah. off my phone. I'm at, like, actually addicted to my phone. So yeah. and I've been trying to get off it before I go to bed and coloring just actually relaxes me. Seriously. It makes me chill. Or um, what were you saying? You Blowing Still, down. still. Still slow. So anyway, I got it from Amazon. It's the brand is Omi, O-M-Y. Oh, I and that. or Omi, I don't know how you say it. But basically it comes in a little squ- square mm-hmm. and you open it up. Well, there's a plethora of coloring books yeah. that I love but this is so fun because you can have like literally 10 people working on it it's like it's the huge. size the size of like a oh, tablecloth oh my gosh and yeah. right now I have one it's like the map of LA and <gasps> oh, it's fun. so fun because it's like a little challenge yeah. and it's huge and it's like do you such just a like fun keep thing. it in your living room yeah I'll have it yeah exactly like and people come over and we'll vibe or like hang out and then color and it's super fun oh, and it's just like really cute. it's also a great gift I think it's like it's definitely around the $20 yeah. mark or something. And I, I don't know. I love it. That's a good idea. Yeah. I like I it. it. Coloring. Super fun. Protect your peace. Yeah. <laughs> Keaton, what's your rec? Uh, my rec is a book series that I just read that I'm obsessed with. Oh, my with. God. You're like, I know what I'm saying. Problem. Like, I, no, but I'm like obsessed because yeah, I feel I'm like all yeah. over Instagram and I'm like super annoying, but uh-huh. I love the Court of Thorns and Roses. I was literally, series. I knew you were gonna what say that. that. Wait, oh I... my god, it's so good. Dom, have you read these so yet? It's so like, don't. It's no. I'm like so. As soon as you started your book journey, is when <laughs> I like took my break, and so I'll tap back in t- and read that because that's the one that's on my list. Like, Who's no, the author? It's so good. Her name's Sarah J. Mass, I think, and Ooh. it's basically like. I don't know if you guys are like avid readers or oh, anything. Oh, I love reading. I love but reading. I read like a lot. Like I've read all, you know, the Colleen Hoover. Yeah. And like I'll start, mm-hmm. I read like thrillers and stuff like that. But if you were in high school and you read like Divergent or Ooh, Hunger I Games. I already I know love. I'm going to love you guys, whatever like, this is. You guys, it is like, it's like that, but like on crack. What's it and it also has so many spicy scenes. Like I'm not going to read yeah. it if it's not mm. spicy. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Happens Hello. Yeah. 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 But it's also, our poor. <laughs> but it's also like the best plot ever. Like it's going to be made into a Hulu series. Series two, oh, so you're yeah, gonna want to read it because when the Hulu series comes oh, out, it's fire. Book Rex girls excited. Yeah, and y'all gonna be sick. Book Rex. <laughs> no, you're literally gonna be obsessed. What's Once it called you, again? It's called. So the first book is called A Court of Thorns and Roses. It's like red. It's got like a red cover. I'm literally writing but it down. But I think it's like five roses. books right now. There's eventually gonna be like nine or something. Oh, that's- Epic, but yeah. once you read the first book, you'll be like, wait a minute. And then the second book is like, yeah, yeah. so good. Should we start at I'm the same saying, time? I, yes, please. Yeah. Start a book club and do it. Okay. It's so good. Wait, I love this. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. I love. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm in my reading era. You. When I was in my reading era, I was like posting my live reactions yep. on TikTok. And <laughs> everyone was like, maybe like, I'm <laughs> like, are you okay? But I was like, because I get oh, so passionate. Same. Like, so so I, into it. I literally have to I can't to put it rant. down. Like I was having like book rants. Yeah. No, same. Yeah. I came yeah. home one time. It was like midnight and I was, you know, I had been out. I was feeling good. Mm-hmm. But I had like a hundred pages left in this book. And I was like, it's <laughs> That's time. That's so many. <laughs> I and I was like. When I was reading A Court of Thorns and Roses, drunk reading, yes. we were literally in the car, like me and like my boyfriend Brandon was like driving me. We're like on our way to dinner. I'm like, I just like, hold on one second. I'm like, have my book in the car because I have an out. issue. Yeah. Oh I'm my God. I was obsessed. I've literally been that way. Or I've I like canceled uh, yeah. the plan to yes. like finish, to finish book the book. Because I'm like, oh shoot, something happened. Yeah, no, same. Something happened in my book. Yeah. Like the tension is like, you know. Yeah. 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 I can't stop here. Yeah. <laughs> 
Wow. Wait, have any of you read Verity? Yes. Yes. I just finished it. It's oh wild. Gosh. It goes crazy. It yes. does. Great. Did you see that they just casted it in with us? Yeah, yes. but I haven't like, read that book. Like, oh, oh that, that was one of the books. You have to read I that. Was one of the books where I was like, "Sorry, I'm like really busy." Like, <laughs> really, <laughs> I was in the trenches like, with the that one. With Blake yeah. Lively, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so yeah. what, what do you, you think about it? To read it? It's the guy from Jane the Virgin. Oh, what's his name? Justin Baldoni. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, what do you think about them casting it? I like Blake as Lily. I think that's cute. I don't know yeah. about this the Justin yeah. guy. I'm not like loving him because he's supposed to be Atlas. I saw. Yeah, I wasn't. Exp- I, I was. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. I'm like. I need to see his face. Oh, I Sorry. thought he was. Oh, no, I gotta show you. And I'm like, you are not matching my mind castle. <laughs> like, yeah. No, like I had someone like. Is that the beautiful best? picked out? And like, I did he's not think me. he was Atlas. I I saw he was... someone say that he was Atlas and he wasn't Ryle because everyone was saying he was Ryle. Oh. So. But he looks more homeless, so that would fit. Oh, Atlas. Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> and other, like, yeah. Do you I'm, think that's I'm the best Coho it. book to read? Yeah. 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 It ends with us? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Please read it. Like, I, would, it, li- I think any female should read it, honestly. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Just I like in general. Important. That's him. And see? It's well. not giving. <laughs> well, and I don't know. Hey. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, don't know. I, li- I like him. Yeah. Yeah. Me. Me. Who do you like, think they should have casted? Like, I thought Dylan O'Brien would have been a perfect Atlas. Um, you are don't so you gaggy with that. <laughs> yeah. Don't yeah. You think? Yeah. 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 And you're done. Yeah. And you're done. And yeah, you're done. done. It would have yeah. been good. You I wasn't expecting Blake Lively, <laughs> Nate. but she doesn't miss. I wasn't miss. expecting Blake Lively either. Yeah. I was just like, mm. She oh. slayed though. Oh, like, but don't... she doesn't miss, and I think they're scared that it was gonna miss oh. because like everyone has such high expectations mm-hmm. for the book. They had to get that, like they had to get out. someone yeah. so good that never misses. Mm-hmm. So I wasn't expecting her, but I do agree that like she yeah. slays. Yeah, I'm always. Ready to see it. Aren't they making a series or a movie on Seven Husbands of Evelyn yeah. Hugo? Yes. Yes. Oh my god, I awesome. love it. I haven't oh. read that. So. Oh, oh, oh that's in. Right. Like I it. think I thought it okay this is so stupid but like when I looked at the cover of it one day I thought it was a historical fiction. I thought that too I don't know why I thought it was about like a queen I th- oh. yeah I <laughs> thought it was okay. a historical as someone who thought fiction. that too it <laughs> really does because it's actually really but like, good. I feel like it. also just living in LA and like old Hollywood it's and, like, not yes. old Hollywood yeah. okay. okay cool it's, it's just not like queen. Okay, I'll read it yeah, yeah. Trust me, I'm in my reading here you guys okay. Okay. no I know that was the first one like Kenzie was like gun to my head yes yeah okay perfect yeah like you can literally borrow it I yeah, <laughs> yeah perfect. Yes. But Clap, I'll you give you guys all my Court of Thorns. It's the, yes. the same, al- same author as Daisy Jones in the Six. Also a good okay, one. Also a movie or show coming. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Not as being book early. Not as yeah. Okay, Dom, recommendation. Girl. Let's hear it. Okay, my recommendation. I already said it, and I was like, ugh. It. But I watched it last night. You people, you guys have to watch oh, that movie. The Joe Hill is, Ed, yes. is Eddie Murphy in it? Yeah, Eddie Murphy. I and love Eddie it's Murphy. Just so like, I love Eddie Murphy. Kenya Daddy Barris, Baker. he's the guy who did like Blackish, Mixedish, Grownish, oh. like you name it. And he is just so talented. He writes the most incredible TV. Mm-hmm. And I feel like, especially with just like cultures colliding and like it's just a good movie, and Black History Month is coming up. And I feel like love it's that. just a good like. Good timing. Yeah, good t- mm-hmm. timing, good commentary, but mm-hmm. so funny. And I feel like anyone who has, like, a crazy family or, or like, a crazy family member, you're like, ah, ah. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like, that's yeah. my uncle. Yeah, that's my <laughs> uncle. But then it's cute. And it takes place in L.A., and I love, like, just living in the city, and they Same. go to places you know. Mm-hmm. And it's mm-hmm. very much one of those movies where you're like, oh, my gosh, I've, like, been there. I, thought I love that. that. <laughs> we'll watch this tonight. You Brandon. have to watch yeah, it. It yeah. was, like, a m- big mood booster. Is it Netflix? Mm-hmm, it's okay. on Netflix. Okay, I was, like, gonna have to watch. Huge mood booster Ooh, for the fun. Sunday scare. Love it. Oh, it's great. Amazing. Yeah. Well, um, thanks for the Rex girls. Yeah. And thanks for coming on the show. This was Thank a blast. So um, where can everyone find you guys? Pimp yourself out. Go ahead, Hope. Uh, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube at Hope underscore Pittman or with my sisters on TikTok at the Pittman sisters. That is me. You can't miss it. It's a good it's a good account to follow. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously at the Pittman sisters and then individually it's at Hazley Pittman on Instagram and TikTok. And the news. Oh, at Hayes, H-A-S-E dot it. Amazing. Cute. Keaton. Um, I hate saying my username. So it's just Keaton Milburn uh, on YouTube, Instagram and TikTok. That's I me. Love, love it. Definitely oh, check and, out her YouTube. And I have a clothing line. It's called Twin Flames. Oh, yes! I forgot. Oh, I, oh, I went, oh my gosh. I literally forgot. I know. And I, every time so funny. I go like on things, they're like, what's your plug? And I'm like, oh, my God, I forgot to talk about my beard. 
I have a clothing line. It's like sweats and stuff. I love Ooh. It. Yeah. It's, Twin Flames. It's, it's like the sickest brand ever. And mm. she's so creative. So definitely. Thank and you. she has great fashion. So yeah, go follow. Yeah, exactly. yeah Lars always wears it. That's why I was like, I love Lars. I love <laughs> Lars. Uh-huh. That's how I've heard of it, I think, actually. Yeah. Oh, really? Wow. He's yeah. influencing. He goes influencing. to my chiropractor and he he comes in these sets. So yeah. I've probably literally seen him in wear. Twin wear Flames. Ones. Oh, wow. There you go. Love it. Obsession. <laughs> Dom, where can everyone follow you? Um, you can find me on Instagram. I'm like, I need to really condense it down to just like one name. But <laughs> anyways, Instagram, Dom Roberts, instead of an E, it's an X. And then uh, TikTok, Dom Not a Teen Mom. And then <laughs> I also have a clothing line. And then oh, we also nice. post like cool like mental health stuff as well called The Uncomfortable. It's amazing. It's, three underscores and we just launched our oh, collection cool. so you guys yeah. check Congrats. it out and they're iconic we love Both, uh, everyone's yeah. creative as hell everyone's here slay. so I love that follow love that. so inspiring <laughs> yeah it is it is thank you so much for coming on the show I adore you all and everyone follow them they're so fun and fabulous and they always bring the best energy to my feed so definitely you. follow, follow them and be sure to make someone's day this week love you guys bye, bye. bye.